Hello, hello, hello. Today is going to be a good day. Today is going to be a good day. Yesterday, yesterday was a pretty fun stream. I've got high expectations for today, and I think that they will be met. Met pretty easily. Met pretty easily, if I say so myself. That's right. It's absolute madness. Absolute madness over here today. That's what we're aiming for. It's the way it's going to be. That is the way it's going to be. Perfect. Perfect. Now this new patch, this new patch has been pretty nice. Crazy, crazy, crazy days, crazy times. I made another tea. I'm having my second tea today. This one is not, it's not a black tea though. I'm going, I went back, I just, this, this is just like a, some cinnamon spice herbal tea. No, uh, no caffeine in this guy. I'm already pretty, I'm already pretty jazzed up. I'm feeling good. Hey, Gil. But uh, yeah, I got Linux set up again. I got my Linux and everything set up so we can play. We keep things easy peasy. And that's it. That's it. I'm just going to play. I'm just going to play 1v1s all day. Hey, cutie. Hey, Katie. Hey, Katie. I made, I made that cinnamon spice herbal tea. I got that cinnamon spice herbal tea game going. I got to do my placements. I haven't played on this account in a long time. I'll make it'll make for some some warm up some reasonably reasonable warm up matches perhaps could probably move the, this a little little more in this direction here huh probably Oh, this guy's a Terran. What's going? Ah, you scared me. Big job. What's going? Let's be ready. Roger. But I won't get the camera jump bug today, so that'll be nice. We can we can take we can take things about seven to seven to eleven percent more seriously today. It's a pretty substantial increase. Huh? 
I just don't have the uh, the NVIDIA Auto HDR for Linux. It doesn't affect the stream, though, so I can be a big boy. I can be a big boy and deal with it. Trading, trading stability for a little bit of graphics is fair, you know. If you gotta fix the car, you know, don't don't pay don't pay for a paint job before you take care of the transmission, right? Something something like that. Huh? Oh, my rapid fire is not set up on this account. Ah. Hmm. Well, that's annoying. Are my other hotkey profiles on here? No, Nathan Taren. Nathan Taren should do it. Okay, rapid fire is set up. I just need to. It's it's one hotkey. It's only the attack that's not done because I did add that later. That's fair. That's fair. Nothing to sweat over. No, I do need to go into the hotkey file to fix that, actually. It's because the it's because I need the third target hotkey. That's what it is. I need a third targeting hotkey. Nice. Okay. Now I just need to find where the account information for this one is saved so I can change the hotkey file and fix it. That should take me not very long. I did I did set a specific link to where that area is on my Linux. So I think we should be able to find it without too much trouble. We should be able to find it without too much trouble. Because I can also do it this way. Let me just see if I can find this really quickly. StarCraft 2, the most recent one was Zergnado. There we go. Right. Hotkeys, Nathan Taran. There we go. All right, let's see. Select target, select target, select target. Oh, left mouse button, R, A. There we go. And W, why not? Why not give ourselves patrol? Why not give ourselves patrol there? Beautiful. Perfect. Okay, I think we're good. Yeah, we're good, we're good, okay. That should fix it. We should be good. Yo, huge boulder. GG, thank you, thank you. How am I enjoying the new patch? I like it. How are you enjoying your Wednesday, Dr. Syken? How are you? That should, have, that should fix my hockey thing, so I think we should be good after that. 
I'm 98% sure that I found the correct file to mess with. I'm gonna take the tea bag out. I put it into my other tea cup that's empty. See that? That's how you know I'm double mugging. I'm double mugging today. Is that a Sega Genesis shirt? Yeah, man. That was like my first console. That was like my first console. We had a we had a Sega Genesis and a Super Nintendo. Go ahead. Yeah. SCB ready. You know what it is. Oh. Bro, I played so much Sonic the Hedgehog. Played so much Sonic the Hedgehog growing up. Those games were formative. Is it? Did the ho Oh no, I know what I did. I know what I did wrong. <sighs> yeah, I know. I know what happened here. I know what happened. <laughs> the hotkey profile. I, I ruined it because I didn't rename it from back from a text file to a SC2 file. <laughs> now I got all the default hotkeys again. No. <laughs> Well, that's okay. Sometimes it'd be like that. It really, it just loaded the last one that was on Battle.net, so. It loaded the last one that was on Battle.net, so it's the exact same one I had the previous game because I didn't rename the text file. I will do that next. I got to have I haven't played SC2 on Linux in a little bit. Please forgive me. Please forgive me. Where's my base camera? Where's my base camera? What's going on here? <laughs> Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? I can't see shit, man. Command center 2.0 ready to go. Okay, all we gotta do it's very good that we got put back in our placement matches. It should, it should still be pretty difficult for us to lose any games. Oh no, it got rid of my F1 key. My, my hotkeys got reverted more than I thought. Okay. Whoo! The StarCraft podcast in the background fits well. Nice, nice. Having a lunch break. He's got that, he's got that bacon, lettuce, tomato, ladies and gentlemen. And he's fancy. He's a little fancy, so he upgraded today. He got the avocado on there. He's feeling good. He wanted a little protein. He wanted a little motine. And who can blame him? Who can blame him? He's been killing it. He's been killing it. Not like Steve. He has to pick up all the slack for Steve at the office, but that's okay, because Steve makes funny jokes, and he occasionally brings in donuts. So, you know... It's true that there might be a better worker out there than Steve, but getting rid of Steve would be really bad for office morale. And you never know how much worse the next person might be compared to Steve, so... Probably not bringing in donuts. Nani? This is giving me like doom drop vibes, right? Oh my gosh, yeah, all my hotkeys, all my hotkeys are. The game, it's StarCraft 2, but every game you play, you lose a hotkey. Every time you press find match, one of your hotkeys randomly changes to something else. Ready for pickup? Let's go. Now what? Got it targeted. You got coordinates better than good. Picking up or dropping off? Oh, there you go. Big job, huh? Somebody, get me out of this mess. 
I mean, we did get both of his tanks. Pretty cash. Pretty cash. I still have the I still have the ra rapid fire for the Reaper grenade. I still have that. They haven't taken they haven't taken everything from me. Not yet. Nathaniel's stream, but every game he plays, he has one additional hand of his tied behind his back. <laughs> Let's get another bunker. I read you, sir. Your research is ready. Okay, I think, I think everything's okay. Let's get our, let's start building battle cruisers. I think, I think we made it. I think we did it. I can't, I can't jump my camera everywhere to my stuff. Nathan reveals he was always jumping his camera intentionally. Well, to certain parts of the screen, yes, that's true. That actually is true. There's Banshees in his base and that's, and then he uses the mule to, yeah, I mean, this, this one is over. This game is over. Nate, just, just take all your stuff. Go kill him, right? Just go. That's all. There's not much else to do here. I would say that you've met you've met the win condition of the game. I actually think I actually think you did it. I think we're there. I legitimately believe we're there. See, even Bob agrees. Even Bob agrees. GG. Beautiful. Okay, okay, okay. I'm gonna fix the hotkeys this time for real. For real, for real this time. Okay, bad base. Zerg NATO. Seven seven five one. Okay, let's go up. Let's see. Where is it? Where is it? Hotkeys. See, see, there's a Nathan Taran, and then there's a Nathan Taran dot text still. That's what I need to do. So what I need to do is let's take this one. We'll just rename that one to uh fake.sc2 hotkeys then we'll rename nathan taren.txt to nathan taren.sc2 hotkeys boom okay now everything should be fine uh, that should fi that should fix everything <laughs> i'm still warming up okay <laughs> i didn't i didn't play a co-op game you're you've been spared okay <laughs> I didn't launch zombie zombie tank guys for 30 minutes to start the stream today. Am I on the right hockey profile? Let's see. I see Nathan Taren and I see fake. Excellent. Excellent. Beautiful.
Yo, hello, hello, everybody. Welcome, Gary. Hey, Capstair. The quest for glory begins. Go ahead. Let's go. I think we got all our hotkeys set up. I think everything's ready to go. Feeling good. Matchup is a Protoss, so we gotta expect aggression. Kill it. That extra range on the workers, so nice. So nice. the good times roll sir are you a resident evil fan why is your name huge boulder you ever get smacked around by a big hot buff white dude in a volcano I'm super thirsty for Resident Evil. Can't help it. Man, can't help it. Just looking for proxies like Dark Shrine, all that kind of, all that kind of stuff. You have a first and last name in Darkfall MMO, and you thought it was a really, you thought you were a really funny guy. You, I mean, you are. It's a great username. It's not really anything else to add there. No regrets. Huge Boulder is a great username. It makes it sound like you've had that name for a long time. It's a good one. I'm just complimenting you. It's a great name. I'm a great online username appraiser, if you couldn't tell. It's one of several of my features. <laughs> it's one of several of my features, included in the base Nathaniel package. Press 1 to find out more. Press 2 for Espanol. Press 3 to find out more. <laughs> press 4 if you're patiently waiting for me to tell you which button to press to get out of this endless trap of menu options. Press 5 to exit. <laughs> press 6 to call back. Uh. Nothing like getting caught in the the, de the death trap of a customer service automated automated rabbit hole. 
They say, they say once you're three layers in, that's it. You're never getting out. So we had the OBS out front, but they didn't really get to put it in the base, it looks like. I know what you're thinking. Nathaniel, how could you be so foolish? How could you be so reckless? How could you be so heartless? Yeah, that pre-birth character, character creator that we all go through, man. Look, I just, I pressed too many of the options that nobody else had ever pressed before, okay? I'm sorry. No one told me you couldn't just take Wild Wasteland three times. I didn't know. What's going on? Now comes the best part. Two armories cost nothing. Go ahead. Got no pace. Huh? SCB ready. What what concerns me is that we don't know anything about what he's trying to do here. Do we just pocket BCs while he's chilling? I feel like that might be the play. Yeah, we just need to get a few turrets so that we don't have to have units in our main or natural as much, and then I think we're okay. I still haven't made an engineering bay either, so that's that's a problem. Just been using the Raven with these two cyclones to try and deter any shenanigans. Okay. We just don't want to leave ourselves completely vulnerable to a doom drop. Also, don't think he's seen the BC, but I should probably just, Nate, you should probably just use it, you know? You're not exactly playing a pro level match here. Fair. Fair. Look, he doesn't even have fast warping. Yeah, he doesn't even have fast warping. You killed like half the stalkers while they were warping in. You're good, bro. Actually, get the observer first. Damn. Well, he killed the mines pretty quickly. That's fair. That's fair. Your base is getting blasted. Ready. Your research is ready. You mined out some of your minerals. Oh sh. Upgrade ready. That on done. Swap away. Oh, I can start 2-2, two, two, and I have extra command center, so I think we're good. I think we're good. Damn. Okay, there we go, there we go. Might as well burn all the immortal barriers.
What you got? Baby, I want it. What you need? Hmm? Yeah, okay. Send it home, Nate. Send it home. Send it home. Repair it. Get another. Get like two to three more BCs and just go kill him. Don't make this any harder than it has to be. Breaking up can be difficult. I get it. We've all been there. Here we go, here we go. Three BCs. Three BCs with the Raven. Tasteful. Tasteful, it doesn't doesn't overstay its welcome. It doesn't overwhelm the, the taste buds or the nostrils. It's a reasonable, it's a reasonable accompaniment here. I would pair this with um, uh, perhaps a Cabernet, maybe a Merlot. And obviously a Chardonnay for your wife, like always. Yes, the Martha Stewart one, of course, of course. You want Martha's Shard or Martha's Light Shard? Is that, what is she like? And you could just admit it's for you as well and then we don't have to do this dance. It's okay. Oh, I know, I, I have her custom lighter, yeah. Yeah, she's cool. Yeah, there's nothing weird about it. Okay, okay, I'll get you a Light Shard, no worries. Thank you, thank you. It doesn't insist upon itself. It insists upon itself. You're absolute perfect. I don't know about that. Maybe, maybe on a good day I'm a seven though. I'll take that, that sounds nice. is sniffing the room the dog goes sniffing the room SCB ready huh? move it yes sir what? what's going on SCB ready SC3 where rocks are now a unit in a world where rocks have replaced all Starcraft units one man dares to bring a pickaxe. StarCraft 3, boom, there you go. Ship it, have AI generate a box art for it. Roll Tide. <laughs> Roll Tide. That way we optimize for tide wave meta. Are you seriously not developing hydro dams to route the water over the rock path you want to destroy? Have you never played this game before? <laughs> what's that? The, what's the artosis laugh? <laughs> He's literally never redistributed water over rocks before. What an absolute moron. <laughs> I have seen the diagrams of the rivers Tigris and Euphrates, known as the Cradle of Life, and I'm well aware, mind you, of exactly the level of aquifer production my society needs to destroy an infinite amount of boulders. That's that's probably what like ancient Mesopotamian shit posting was, right? Like that's that's what they did. That's what they did. They didn't have StarCraft. They didn't have StarCraft. The guy's just like, guy's just like, all the boulders in my farm are gone, bitch. I didn't even have to throw them away. Just ran water over them like a god. Everybody just nods their heads like, this guy's so smart. Holy shit. Write that down. Write that down.
running away, I could always leave. Feeling real threatened right now. You know what? That's you know that's probably just your survival instincts keeping you alive, bro. It's probably a good it's probably a good thing that the thought of rushing water would terrify a boulder. All right, all right. Maybe maybe this is maybe this is your like ring seven days moment. Except we just saved you, okay? I'm go I'm trying to do something crazy here, okay? We going we going off. We taking over this city. We're taking over. Probably should have started the fusion core though, since the battle cruiser was definitely a part of this. Don't want to get eroded, man. That's what I'm talking about. Maybe I'll run into you again after work, and I'll get clapped like last time. It's all good, bro. Have a nice day. You think they'll they'll merge the sequel of StarCraft and Minecraft? Yeah, that'd be dope. Star Mine Star Minecraft. Don't tell don't don't act like you wouldn't play the shit out of that, okay? You can be you can be man enough to own your feelings. Bro, I just want like a Helldivers mod where they make it look like StarCraft, okay? I have no interest in that game, but if they change the bugs into Zerglings and they change the, the people into, into Marines and Reapers just jumping into endless abysses, you know, I think they could. I think they could still turn me. I think they could still turn me. Why can't I play Zerg Divers? Where's Zerg Divers? Come on. Isn't everything derivative now? Isn't it considered a compliment? It's not even a cheap thing to do anymore. Right? What, what was that copium we all came up with for why it's okay to just endlessly diminish things? Let's go. Let's keep it rolling. Don't don't back out now. <laughs> Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna take we're gonna take this mine. We're gonna put it outside of his base. We're gonna send a battle cruiser into his base. Nathaniel, are you telling me your plus one attack is already done for your battle cruisers at the one minute mark? No, no. It's actually it's close to the six minute mark. I, I get it. I get excited watching the stream too. But yes, yes, yes. My battle cruisers do have plus one attack at the at the six minute mark. Ah, yeah. See, this is the part where we die right here. This is this is where it gets this is where it gets really tough. He's about to hit it from the front and the back at the same time. All right. I just put a wall up in front of the door, though. I feel like that. Feel like that saved us. Oh, he's already going into Void Rays, tasteless. Let's go. Do I just depower? Is that the play? Or fly home? Fly home. Oh my gosh. He's got some stuff, huh? Yeah, DTs. Seriously, he's trying to send the invisible man after me? What did I what did I ever Can anybody in this chat seriously think of one reason why I deserve to have an invisible man sent to kill me? Seriously? The shit I deal with on a daily basis is legendary. Speaking of legendary, did you guys hear they're bringing Overwatch 1 back? That was in the news today. Pretty crazy. It's ha it's actually happening. They sold they sold the they sold the software. They sold the engine. They literally sold the engine to Netties in exchange to get their partnership opened back up in China to be able to sell their games there. If you guys remember that drama, they gave the Overwatch engine to Netties in exchange for being able to sell their games in China. So now, now they literally have a Marvel video game that is literally Overwatch 1. It's incredible. 
Yeah, they literally reskinned Overwatch 1 into a Marvel a Marvel shooting game. And it actually looks better than Overwatch 2. It's it's incredible. It's legitimately incredible. I've never seen anything like this happen before. They're like, yeah, we don't care about Overwatch, but if you guys want to sell your shit in China, you give us the rights to your engine and we're just going to make another game with it that's better. And that's what happened. Absolutely crazy. Yeah, that's for real. They announced it today. It's going to be free to play. Open beta starts in May. They got Spider-Man, Hulk, Doctor Strange. They even got they even I, I'm I'm sure I'm sure at some point they'll probably they'll probably get everybody in there, but yeah, it seems seems like uh, seems like some money is going into this. You know, Nate, your uh, your teleport cooldown. It didn't. It, your teleport was not off cooldown. It's the wrong BCs to, to send. Just want to make it really clear that you just just bungled that pretty badly. Just so, just so you know, like that wasn't that wasn't really a good move. I know what to do though. We have ways we have ways of making you talk. No, somehow we definitely have already thrown away way too many of our BCs. That's very true. Been reckless, Nathaniel. You've been you've been very reckless, very irresponsible. But I've got a plan. You've mined out some of your minerals. Your booty foe. You've depleted that mineral field. Your booty foe. Oh, yeah. Oh, you want to play Plants vs. Zombies against me? Me? My, my dad's a senator. You know how many in-app transactions I got, bitch? Yeah, someone else doing a Blizzard game better. It's crazy. Crazy. Good thing you've got more of those, right? Okay, we depowered it. We depowered it. Fly into the mines. Come here. Come here, baby. Come to daddy. There we go. There we go. Oh. Oh, say can you see. No, oh, this is pod racing. I mean, he doesn't even have, like, a ground path to reach me over here is the other thing. No, no Tempest, no Tempest, no Tempest, no Tempest, no Tempest. We have to shut this down right now. We can't, we can't let him start building Tempest. No. Shut it down! No. <laughs> I I do feel like a bully. I do. I do. <laughs> Look at that. Tell me. Tell things you can only do on this map pool. There's no way for him to run his units towards me. The only way for him to get here on the ground is to destroy these rocks 
after going all the way around here, or, or he has to mine this out earlier, blink across it. But I'm like, I can just, I can just start building whatever I want. I'm just like, I got turrets, I got mines. When I baited his void rays into those mines, that was filthy. And he's all, he almost had plus one attack, and I had plus three. Feels good, man. Yeah, this cinnamon spice, cinnamon spice tea is not bad. Shout out to whoever made this. You're so surprised you didn't GG. Well, I played him twice in a row. This this account is in placements because I haven't played I haven't played this. I haven't played on this account much. I wanted to I wanted to play on play uh, ladder on on one that I wasn't using um, as much, just so I could warm up a little bit. So this one's making me do my placements again. But we're already we're already just we're already only going against I, I think at least like diamond or masters players, which is which is fine. That's completely fine. The highest player density is going to be top diamond, low master anyway. So we don't want to get we don't want to get too far ahead of that. We want to be able to find games. That's the most important thing. You feel like Proxy Tempest will be uh, strong on that map? Maybe. Maybe. The interesting thing about all of those maps with the backdoor stuff is that there, it, 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 it's on both sides, right? You have to send workers to mine it on your own side first. That's a, that's a pretty far way to send a lot of probes early. Like... Each of those, each of the minerals on that one, I think, are like 10, 10 minerals. So you need four trips. So you either send four probes or you send one probe four times. But I think, I think that that takes a really long amount of time. I think that takes a long amount of time, if you ask me anyway. Shout out to the double attack range on workers. Made my life easy, peasy, breezy. So Taryn isn't dead? I, I don't know. I don't know what you're talking about, bro. If you guys want my thoughts on the patch, I did make a YouTube video about it. Uh, They're generally very positive. The Cyclone buff did not go through, but you don't get everything you want in life. That's not how it works. That's not how it's supposed to work. I like that the maps are crazy. I like that the maps are different. I like that we have probably one of the most unique map pools that we've had in a very long time. We finally, we finally got Blizzard to experiment a little bit. So that's nice. You could put a pylon here and warp into the Terran base from this side. Something to keep, something to keep to keep in mind. Wouldn't hurt. Wouldn't hurt to put my next depot over here just for vision. He did not rush to the gold. Oh, see, look at this, double stalker. Yeah, two gates. He's got two gates. But yeah, I like this patch. I like this patch. I don't. I don't there's nothing. To, there's nothing about it that really bothers me at all. I miss the old cyclone. That's really about it. Do you think he's just gonna blink across these minerals like that's his plan? Getting a robo, good boy.
No, the only the only change to the cyclone they did in this patch was they cut its DPS by 20%. That's all. They did not they did not end up going through with the uh, the other change on it. The the damage the damage buff did not did not get put in the game for the upgrades or whatever. I cry every time. Cyclone was pretty strong though, so can't blame him. It was it was very good. Perhaps perhaps better than it needed to be. Perhaps a little bit better than it needed to be or ought to be or ought to need to be. Wait, where is the observer? Right? He's got to have an observer, right? Unless he just made, like, a, a prism or something. So it makes this hard though because we do have to expect from the with blink that he can put pressure on both sides he can put pressure on us from both sides at the same time so that's that's what's annoying that does make that does make our lives a lot harder Take that. What's going on? Go ahead. All of a sudden, that engineering base feeling real pricey. Real pricey. It's like I want to get BCs and tanks, but this pocket base doesn't even give that much gas either. It's one of those things I got to figure out. Because that's the thing, right? He can put pressure on both sides. He can he can attack me from both directions very easily. Don't have enough energy for a scan either. I will soon. Yeah, just go, Nate. Hey, this game is always, always a treat. I love StarCraft, man. It's always some crazy shit. But Nathan, isn't this what you wanted? Yes. Yes, it is. Thank you for noticing. I feel seen. It's true. Party Rock is in the house tonight. Okay, well. Speak up. Need something blown up. In the rear with the gear. Go ahead. Huh? Add on spin. Go ahead. Huh? 
because I opened with the cloak mind drop, I guess that's why he's been so defensive. Maybe that's why maybe that's why we haven't haven't had much aggression coming our way. These mineral patches are starting to get low though. Let's take guys off of them. Let's get Yamato. That one's getting kinda low too. Let's get a bunch of these guys. Oh wait, that's what we want. I don't want to open this. I don't. I don't ever want to open that. Not for all the gold in Camelot's kingdom. Not for all of it. Well, no, Nate. Don't get that. Get there. We go. Get another star for gas income is uh, is is ramping up, right? Let's take one in the corner. Since he knows we have BCs, like he could just be going mass tempest, and that would be a pretty smart thing for him to do. It's just a matter of time. Uh, there it is. Yeah, repair him, repair him, repair him. It's okay, it's okay. We got lots of mules, we got lots of command centers. Yeah, I was gonna say, Party Rock. Party Rock is in the house tonight. There's very little, very little with which we need to concern ourselves. He's coming for it, he's coming for my base. Boom, 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 boom. What's going on? Your base is under siege. Upgrade complete. Will? Your add on is complete. Hmm. Oh, you made carriers. Perfect. We've got so much money. Oh, 
Let's go. Rack it up. Making bank, baby. Making bank. We got a free mothership. Life is good. Life is good. I got more bases than I know what to do with. Got more base than the planet of the base guy. You feeling me? Ruh-ro, Raggy. What is this, Zerg? You'd think. You'd think. Just cleaning up. Cleaning up. Always kill the observer first. Goodbye. A phenomenal finish. GG, baby. Absolutely filthy. Yeah, him going, him going for carriers. I would never, I'll never recommend carriers against battle cruisers. The only weakness of my build is that it is a single armory. So, hypothetically, yes, the carriers actually deal damage to the BCs when I play like this. That is true. Two armories kind of takes carriers off the board completely. The problem is I had so many BCs, it didn't really matter because I'd kill all the interceptors instantly if he tried to engage me. And he also only ever maxed at, like, was it four? I think he had four carriers compared to, uh, what? What did I have? I pushed him with about eight battlecruisers. <laughs> battlecruisers cost more than a carrier. So it's just, that's the easiest math. It's like, if I have any number more BCs than he has carriers, it's a huge army difference. It's huge, huge. Interceptors suck against armor. It's true. That's true. But the battle the battle cruiser starts with three armor by default. So that's one of the reasons that's one of the reasons why focusing on the attack upgrades is just in general really good, because the DPS gain is massive. You wish you would have continued playing StarCraft from when you were small. It's never too late to play a game you love, man. Go ahead. It's not easy. Certainly not an easy game. Be kind to yourself with your expectations, but... It's never too late for now. You saw a video, one BC with ba upgrades beats three battle cruisers without upgrades? Yeah, 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 that'll do it. The battle cruiser itself is one of the worst units in the game at killing battle cruisers. With Yamato, the battle cruiser is one of the best units in the game at killing battle cruisers. The dynamic, 
the, the, the polar contrasts. It's wild. Absolutely wild. And But I would I would completely believe that, yeah. The Battle Cruiser only does five damage to air with no upgrades. It's five damage. And BCs have three armor. So you're only doing two damage a hit. So divide five hundred fifty by two. So it takes two hundred twenty five attacks from a battle cruiser to kill another battle cruiser. I think. I think that's what that means. That is crazy, isn't it? Isn't it? I mean, I, I think it is. I think that is kind of wild. Whether you think it's a good or a bad thing, it's still crazy. It's crazy. The scales. The scales in this game can be just wild. Absolutely wild. Boom. <laughs> Don't mind me just marking this for uh, the OSHA, the OSHA inspector when he comes. This should be taped off over here. You know that. You know that. You know this should be taped off. I mean, he kind of did, though. I mean, I did tell him to come home. I can't do much more than that. This guy is trying to argue with me for some reason. Oh, yeah, I never put the third SCV back on that geyser. Yikes! This is like totally one of those maps where people end up like doing crazy ass nightis stuff. It feel it feels like it has to be. It feels like it has to be one of those maps. This is absolutely where somebody tries to drop a drop a worm in your back door. Okay, I don't see anything. I think we're fine. I think we're okay. Better do for cotton I draw. Oh, he wanted to run away because he thought I moved this here to kill him. And then he came back. And now he now he discovers the truth. It was to kill him. Just not yet. Oh, I'll get there. Here we go. Oh, you know what else we can afford with this? Oh, the armory. Uh-oh, SpaghettiOs. Because we're dirty rich now. It's like that Lady Gaga song, guys. They made the armory 50 gas cheaper. My new... And it's, it's, it's amazing. Dirty, dirty, rich, rich. Dirty, dirty, beautiful. Dirty, rich. Bang, bang. It's a great track. No, Nate, you can't build a raven while you're waiting for the fusion core to finish. Yes, you are spending every penny you have to make this happen. All right. This is it. I'm still starting plus one first because I am going to be that greedy. I'm going to I'm going to be that greedy. Nathaniel, it's never been done before. Yeah, I know. I know. Doing cool shit is its kind of my thing. Go ahead. Let's go. Ah. I, hear you. I like that it's technically not a wall. His zerglings were like, can I get in there? And I'm like, mm -mm. no, no. Although he is now starting to make me think. We oh. Damn. 
What do you think? He, what's he cooking? Guys, what's he, what's he cooking? Let's get like, no, no, Nate. You want to make more units, but you're about to finish these two battle cruisers. And when those two battle cruisers are done, do you know what you need after? You need to start two more battle cruisers. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. That's what that's that's what I'm talking about. He doesn't have any creep connecting his main and natural. Just wait for him to go up the ramp and then he can't transfuse and you win. That's it. It's over. Literally that easy. Oh, do my battle cruisers have plus one attack? Nani? Uh oh. It's okay. It's okay. There's more coming. I also made a planetary in my base. Oh! Tasteless! Yeah, he's going to start some corruptors, but that's fine because he's not going to have upgrades on them and you'll have plus two. Yeah, what are you gonna do? I have a planetary here, bro. I'm Lightning McQueen. Beautiful. Yeah, he force filled it himself. It's crazy to think about. It's crazy. Yeah, I know, I know. We're balling. We're balling unbelievably hard today. Best patch in years. Best map pool in years. Not much to worry about. Is Terran Zerg and Protoss like a rock, paper, scissors thing? Some people some people like to look at that way to make it easier to process, but I, I say no. The way I would describe the different races in the game is that they're all like playing a different game. So StarCraft is the game and minerals and gas are the resources and everybody does play on the same maps, but playing Terran, playing Terran is playing like a pretty methodical type of game. Playing Zerg is playing like a, a very like me mechanically focused kind of game. You're doing a, you're doing a lot of sock folding, right? But the whole the the actions that you're doing in the background are so different. I, I view them all as like playing completely different games from each other. So that's probably the easiest way to explain it. Like they are each their own game. Like there's a whole play there's a whole way that Zerg is played, whether you like a certain type of strategy or not you know what i mean same thing for protoss same thing for terran with terran you got a lot of flimsy units that have crazy damage output so the whole game is just about maximizing the value of your units and avoiding head-to-head -head fights where your opponent gets you clumped up and stuff like that and then for zerg you have the ability to make a lot more stuff than anybody else and you can make it really fast and zerg also has the easiest tech switches in the game so, but, but the downside is that Zerg can win the head-to-head -head fights, but they need to have good setups in advance. 
and they can't really fight entrenched Terran positions that effectively. So for Zerg, they're usually trying to establish map control and overwhelm you with huge amounts of units. So the approach to the game is completely different. The approach to the game is completely different. It's beautiful. It's what makes StarCraft such a good game, is that there are so many different things in play every single game. I don't off-race a whole lot on stream because most of my viewers are angry Terran players, so I try to make them happy. But I've hit Masters League with all three races, and it is they're all they're all like complete. It's completely different games. But the more that you play all the different different teams you can play as, then the easier it becomes to understand them when you're playing against them. So. Like, playing Protoss taught me more than anything how BS Widow Mines and Liberators are. It's one of the reasons why it's one of the reasons why I try to use them when I can, because they're obviously very good units. But when I play Protoss, man, the only reason I don't play 1v1 Protoss anymore is because of Liberators. Liberators and Widow Mines. And those are things that were both targeted by the most recent patch. But Obviously, nowadays, like, regular regular Protoss still hasn't had a buff in years. They didn't even buff Protoss on this patch, so. Maybe, maybe next year. Grand Slam of the day so far. You got a sandwich in your purse. A purse sandwich, if you will. Just working away. <laughs> She's got a purse sandwich. That does sound pretty nice. The purse switch. Oh, he's opening it up. He's opening it up. Here we go. He's opening up my back door. He's crazy. Well, we're not going to need this Vespine if we need minerals to hold a bust. Oh, he didn't actually open it. He didn't actually open it. Okay, we're fine. We're fine. Oh, my God. I thought it was opened. Jeez, I'm dumb. <laughs> Sorry about that. I was like, oh, my God. I, oh, my God. Is he's coming up. He's coming up the ramp. I was like, he's coming up the ramp. Yeah, he... Oh, see, that's the thing. These have 20 minerals. He would need to bring four drones. He'd need to either bring four drones or send... He'd have to send a ridiculous amount. He'd have to send such a crazy amount through to get anything done. He might have just been doing it to mess with me, too. Yeah, you're not ready, son. You ain't ready. You ain't ready for what's coming. Make it on a run to California. Want. Two BCs and one one on the way for both of them. Beautiful. Go away. Even if he rushes straight to Corruptors, like, for him to go double upgrades and get mass Corruptor and nothing else, he put himself into a, a spot where we can beat him pretty easily with mass Cyclone. And that's what we're going to do. We're just going to beat him with mass Cyclone. He doesn't really have, doesn't really have much, much else he can do here, so. California, what? Do all right, we're going to need to save up for our next wave of battle cruisers now, so. Where's your spire? 
Oh, he's already got it. Yeah, see, he's a good boy. He's a good boy. Oh, he broke the rocks and took the tower, vision tower. That's cute. I love that. I love that he took the towers. What is it? Big job, huh? Yep. Bad news. Well, let's go, baby. Easy peasy. No, he just wants to fly them straight in and like dive me probably. It's my guess. Are these guys all off cooldown? Beautiful, beautiful. Now, I've got 1-1 one, one on these guys. They're not that weak. Not that weak. I don't need to be losing stuff, but I don't think we're in too bad shape at all. Oh, these roaches to get the turrets, right? You go. You've mined out some of your minerals. Huh? Yes, Commander. Yes. Who called in the fleet? You oh, really? Yes. Oh, he's going for that base. He's going for that base now. He's trying to split off Oroches for the base he can't see. He's going for that one too now. What is it? Yes, Commander. 
Yeah, he split off the corruptors for the command center that's about to land. And he already split roaches for the other base. What a game. What an absolutely absurd match. He doesn't leave anything on the base, but when I go to take it, when I go to take it, he shows up, so that's why I gotta be a little careful. He's a freak. Yeah, he's cooked. Pop goes the weasel. He really wanted that mine. Oh, he did. He did. Woo! Oh, I didn't even realize he had this one. I didn't even realize he had this one. Are you building battle cruisers, son? Yes, I am, Dad. Thanks. Thanks for checking on me. My tea is getting a little cold. My tea is very cold. Is it against the law to microwave your tea if it gets cold? Or should I... I just have to drink it in shame, right? I think that's the law. I'm not... I think I'm 7% Scottish, according to my my thing, but I don't know. Do, do they drink tea? I think they just drink. This is, I, I, I figured I had a proclivity for scotch for a reason, so I just don't know that much. I just don't know that much. I'm still a Padawan. I'm still a tea Padawan. FBI is going to open up the second you press the, cry, the crow wave. <laughs> okay, okay. Hang on, hang on. For, for evidence... Can you see it? I'm trying not to spill it. Can you see there's tea in there? I'm gonna finish it without leaving the camera so you know that I can't, I'm not microwaving it. That is really good though. There you go. Do you believe that was real? Man feels like it would be really difficult to prove to you that I actually just drank that tea, but I did. 
The truth is out there. Nothing is real. <laughs> Neo, wake up. <laughs> All right, let's go next. We got a game. Let's go. Let's get it. What's going on? Go ahead. Go ahead. Well, butter my biscuit. Nate is just drinking tea, raw bites of tea. It's What's fake. <laughs> what? <laughs> Where was that guy that came up with like the whole thing that I was like a Disney Channel plant or some shit? What's going on? STV ready. That was my favorite. That was my favorite conspiracy theory. Nathan's just some guy who secretly tests out random, random secret Disney crap on the stream. So I, I can't. Somebody, somebody wrote it up much better before. Somebody wrote it up much better before. There have been some wild, there have been some wild shit posts in this chat over the years. Oh, the probe is so much less annoying in your base now. I love it. the twilight systems go cyclone ready bon journal yeah i know it's me nathan one of three people on earth that knows how this unit works Today is your eight-year followage streak. I'm proud of you. I'm proud of you. Hope you know that. You're fantastic and you deserve love. Don't ever forget that, okay? Don't ever let anybody take that away from you. Ready. 
Thankfully, the Cyclone is so much worse now. I don't have to think about whether I want to go for Cyclones or BCs. That's what I learned. That's what I learned yesterday. Now we know it's just always BCs. Cyclones are still pretty decent support to an actual mech army, but... Because they're better than Hellions, but that's that's about it now. They're slight they're slightly in between Hellions now and the old Cyclone. I heard that. Wolf Wolf son, how you doing? This man needs a minute. He needs a pause, so I'm going to politely give him that. Gonna be a nice guy. Do 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 Let him go. Let him go. Go ahead. Your research is ready. With the gear. Now what? Big jump time. Where's the Huge enough? Ready to go. Your command center is ready. Wait on you. Not bad. Now, where's the emergency? SCB ready. Order acknowledged. Oh, no. No, no, no. Upgrade complete. You up, ready to go. Yeah, what is SCB ready? Bad news. Go ahead. If we can survive to the battle cruiser stage, I think we're fine. I did a decent amount of damage, but he does have the robo. We know we know that he had an immortal non-zero chance that there's a reasonable amount of either stalkers or charge lots that come in with a really big prism based attack, so Got to just try and get that BC out. I want to just move that over and start transforming the third. What's going on? In the rear with the gear. SCV ready. That's kind of my, kind of the problem though, right? Yeah, he's that's what he's waiting for. Taking up or dropping off. SCV ready. Go ahead. State your request. He doesn't have an observer here anymore at all, though, so that helps. Man, okay. He is turtled up.
Yeah, he's gonna make it really hard to kill him. I think this is all we can really do though. Just get ready for him to force the base trade and then try and uh, try and win off that. Try and win off the base trade. Oh, nice. I'm just trying to get as many as I can. Okay, I think he's on four bases then, based on that. He could be on five. Your base is getting blasted. Here we go. There's the big blink. He's going to bl big blink across. Do it. Do it. Getting more mules, more scans. <sighs> He's either gonna have stuff or he won't at this point. We're just playing for the max out. We're playing for the max out. We're playing for that Giga Max. Oh, he's going into Tempests. Does he have a cybernetics core anymore? I actually don't know. Workers win games. Protect them. You didn't build your base just for it to get blown up, did you? Yeah, no cyber core, no stalkers. Beautiful. Beautiful. You guys, gates are all unpowered. Get rid of the tank. Let's go. Let's go. Mind up 
I like this patch. We're gonna play a lot of difficult but fun games. What else did he have? Oh, bottom right. Look at this ring of observers. What the hell? Look at this. Look at this. Oh my god. My brother in Christ over here is like the freaking big brother strategy, huh? He's got the big brother strategy going on. Look at this ring of vision he had. Very small gaps for me to get through. Very small gaps. He sent his observer so far back, though, after I got his first few. But once you take out that cyber core, look, he had 1k. He had 1,600 minerals and 1,000 gas, and he couldn't spend it. Also stopped his 3-3. Three, three. Half of his supply is in observers. Yeah. He had five obs on the map at the end of the game there. He, the, Widow Mines, man. Widow Mines will put the fear of God into you. It's the only reason why it's the only reason why I don't like mine dropping because it's not very good unless you get the upgrade. But if if you do it, then they're usually going to build cannons and all their mineral lines and that makes it harder for the BCs later. So it's like by playing deliberately like certain types of styles, you can sort of massage them to do things that you want them to do, but I'm actually okay with that cuz I'd rather him waste money on static defense then build more units to come kill me with right so we'll just leave it there long ago the four nations lived in harmony well the avatar yes yeah <laughs> i appreciate that thank you thank you guys i've been live for about two hours i'm gonna take my first break just stretch my legs real quick it's gonna be tops five minutes i'm just gonna grab a snack and refill my water i want to thank y'all for tuning in uh we've got at least probably four or five more hours of ladder coming up after this i'll see you in a sec thank you for watching
All right, we're back. Thanks for hanging out, guys. Everybody loves Terran versus Zerg, right? That's an easy. That's an easy one. I grabbed myself a Costco protein bar. I did ten push-ups. I'm ready to go. Nice thing about the way we redid the office is I have some space over here now for a VR, or I have uh, I have those like perfect push-up handle guys what I've been doing for my morning my morning uh, stuff well, it's really easy it's really easy on the wrist it's like a rotating platform guy so I like I like it a lot I think I waited too long to send the Marines over. That's okay. It's okay. Clear. 
They're on the way, plus one's halfway done. In the rear with the gear. Comes open. Here we go. Ay, ay, ay. It's close. Your SCVs are under attack. Up your base is under siege. <laughs> Here we go. Who called in the fleet? What's going on? Yes, come on. Yes, come on. Let's go, let's get it, man. Come on, come on. Your face is getting blasted. I guess we drop this to wallet here. Let's get it, man. What you got? I mean, my BCs do have plus one, so and he can't can't really do anything else anymore. I think, right? I killed the spawning pool. He couldn't make a lair, right? He hasn't really been making too much else since then, so I still feel I still feel pretty good. Still feel pretty good about things. Probably get Yamato. What a push though by this guy, huh? He tried he tried real hard to kill us fast. He was a little cray cray. He was a little cray cray. Mm. 
Yeah, plus one on the BCs is really good. It helps kill static defense faster. Fun fact. Yeah, he did finally get a lair, but I think he lost too much already. Look how much gas he was banking. 1,700. 1,700. Ay, ay, ay. Let's look at this. Let's look at this from his perspective, too, because this game, this game got silly. GG, thank you, thank you. Yeah, hatch first. I mean, he kind of saw what I was going for, right? The Roach Warren, he doesn't get until after the third, though. He comes up here, sees the gases right as they start. I just wonder if my Marines missed the opportunity earlier. Yeah, he kind of saw the first one, and then he pulled back. I went looking for him, but I gave up. If I had just gone out here, I would have found him. When I sent the Marines out to hunt. I just thought he was already gonna attack me, like the Overlord was bait, but I was maybe a little more cautious than I needed to be. Could have just killed them faster and delayed his build and that probably would have helped more, but. The BCs coming out any moment later would have also been a problem too. So, hmm, kinda, kinda take it or leave it sort of deal. We got a game. The quest for glory begins. Oh, TVT, okay. This is another matchup where I'm re, uh, redoing my build orders. A little bit. Battlecruisers are much better in TVT now. You can't chain, you can't chain interference matrix anymore. Helps a lot. Hi, Phenomenon. Happy Wednesday, sir. We'll send the Reaper around the outside. Look for a proxy. Just make sure there's nothing we don't want outside of our base. Base.
What's he doing? Oh, he's going battle cruisers. Here's your stop. SCB ready. Oh, I'll get there. Bad news. Talk to me. Where's the emergency? Heading out. I heard SCB that. Ready. Acknowledged. Somebody, get me out of this mess. On my way. Understood. SCB ready. Center 2.0, ready to go. Bad news. Ready for pickup? State your request. Okay, we've got everything coming. Just gotta see how he wants to do it. What happens, right? Your research has concluded. You know what the trick here is? You just ignore his BC and kill as many workers as you can. That's it. I don't have to engage him, right? He has no way. He has no way to force me to do this. He needs Yamato. It's too late. Goodbye. Mineral 
Man, he does have the Dorito on him, but there's there's very little reason, right? Plus, I've got two armories going, so. A man after my own heart, though. My 1-1 one, one finished right at the end, too. Then you go from dealing 2 damage a hit to dealing 3 damage a hit against BCs. Oh, he had some Marines here. He had a little run-by waiting here. A little cute. little cute. GG. Your motto should go all the way across the screen. Yeah, it should just be infinite range, if you ask me. Like, the moment you click your motto, it should be straight up Call of Duty. Guy on the mic's just like, Tactical Nuke inbound. Like, that's it. That's it. You blew, you blew it. The game's over. Yeah, I'd like that. I would be okay with that. Pers personally, I would be completely fine with that. I'd be completely fine with that. Let's go next. Nate BCs over all other BCs. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. win games protect them Is 
Yeah, he's going straight to Twilight, so. Ready for dust off. Wait, talk to me. SCB ready. Where's the emergency? On my way. SCB ready. Talk to me. Life flight's here. is ready. Uh, now what? Waiting on you. Where's the emergency? Got him. Life flight's here. Let's go. Big job, huh? Is this guy going to go off again? 13 kills, by the way. Not bad at all. Nice. I will take that. Upgrade ready. Moist. Yeah, we're planetarying that this game. <laughs> I do. F I do feel like there's a very high likelihood that he just tries to come kill us soon. So yeah, yeah. We got away with murder. We got away with murder there. No, start the BC first, Nate. Start the BC. We need counter pressure. We need we need a way to get him off our backs once this starts. What's going on? SCB ready. Command center upgrade complete. Cause we only saw him on two bases anyway, right? So we don't actually know. Perfect, perfect. Yeah, see? Ready. Where's the emergency? Ready. ETA, one minute. Acknowledged. There we go. His strategy to, to blink up into here, I guess. That's his plan. Go ahead. Your SCVs are under base is getting blasted. And that's why we did that. I <laughs> got him. <laughs> yeah, no. Okay, I was gonna. I was like, I think he has blink, but that was it. <laughs> I mean, it's just like it's too obvious, though. Like the value of this base versus Protoss, you have so many angles to protect yourself. Like, how could I possibly defend myself if I don't use a planetary somewhere? It's just not even. It's not even possible. This was hilarious, though. That was amazing. I think I had the range upgrade too. No, no, no. I canceled it. I canceled it. I knew I just needed to get the BC out as fast as I could because I, I just assumed he was going to attack me. Work's been overwhelming. Hey, man. It's all good. I'm happy to see you. I hope uh, hope you had a nice, a nice day otherwise. Or hopefully it gets a little easier for you, partner.
Am I excited for the future of RTS? Yeah, I think so. There's a lot of cool games, a lot of cool games being worked on. I think there's I think there's plenty, I think there's plenty to play. That's the best, man. Nate, do you believe in manifesting stuff in your life? Hmm. I believe I believe that it is impossible to be aware of all of the influences not only on myself but on those I interact with. So, it is, it's maybe, maybe not so much to do with the, I know there's a concept people have about manifesting, but the way, the way that I would describe it is you have to be able to see yourself doing something in your mind before you can do it for real. Oh, you said he's Protoss, right? Is that what, is that what he said? I'll give him a good luck for that. I do think, I do think that if you can't visualize yourself doing it in your mind's eye, then you don't really understand. You don't, you know, like you have to be able to picture where you want to be. It's so important. It's so important to be able to close your eyes and see it, see what it is that you want. I do think that that is important. You know, I, I had a rough childhood. I was big into escapism and all of that, especially when I became a teenager, you know, read up on all that crap, loved it. I felt like it gave me some sense of understanding about all the things I couldn't control in the world, you know? But what I think, what I think I really learned that was probably the most important was being able to put my head down and focus on one thing at a time. Like being able to really dial in on something is, is super important. And being able to being able to see see in your mind what you, where you want to be is very very helpful as well. If you if you say to yourself, "Oh, I want to live in a nice house," it's like, what 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 does that mean for you? Can you can you picture that in your? Can you close your eyes and see it? Can you see yourself walking through that place? Do you know what the carpet you want is? Do you know do, what are the, what does it look like? Do you know anything beyond the dream? When I thought about what I wanted in my life a long time ago, when I was in the middle of doing all of this and I wasn't anywhere near close to, uh, to being doing anything else, I would, I would picture myself walking somewhere a little nicer with trees and grass and with a dog, you know? Those things did end up happening, but I think it's more about reminding yourself about what you want and why you want it. And then when you get into situations where you have to make choices that are bad for you, when you decide whether you want to have that extra drink or have that have that extra cheeseburger, whatever it is, it's being able to, to remind yourself of those things and asking yourself what exactly it is that you want. Why are you doing this? What are your expectations? Those are all important. I don't think you can just make stuff happen by hoping for it or just saying that you want it. But I do think that those are important aspects to other things. Other other things that will bring you joy and happiness in your life.
Waiting on you. Now what? This better be good. Picking up or dropping off. Be ready. Confirmed. Yeah, the patch uh, patch came out yesterday. Patch came out yesterday. It's pretty awesome. I might as well just squeeze out the Thor if I'm doing this, right? Didn't I didn't I used to do that anyway? It's kind of fun. It's kind of fun to do that. Get we'll get that Thor. <laughs> maybe, maybe we go into the Raven with it anyway. I'm freestyling a little bit today. Freestyling. You know, people don't have a lot of people to talk to about things that are difficult in their lives. Especially anybody that grew up in a conservative family. They're big on conceal, don't feel, you know? So I think, for some people, prayer is really the only way that they can talk to someone that they feel like cares about what they have to say, you know? It's really, it's really important for a variety of reasons, but I don't... I don't know that it's as simple that you can hand wave it away like, oh, it's just this or it's just that. I think it means different things to different people. You know, I'm not super religious, but I pray. I pray to my mom. I, I talk to her, you know. For me, it brings me some level of comfort. Makes me feel like I have some kind of connection, you know, still. But I'm not a super religious person. I wouldn't, I wouldn't say I'm a tremendously faithful per person. I just try to do right. I try to do right by my community. I try to do right by my family. I try to do right by my neighborhood. And I try not to do anything that I would think uh, anybody else would be an a-hole for doing. And that's about it. But to say that it does nothing, well, I, I think that's a bit reductive. It's like saying an athlete having a pre-game ritual does nothing because at the end of the day, the athlete's performance is the only thing that matters. It's not really, it's not really how anything works, you know? It's like a strongman argument is they always try to remove the mental aspect from stuff. They're like, it's all about power. It's all about frame. It's all about this, that, the other thing. When in reality, you know, most, most of the time it's about having a plan and sticking to it, right? Being humble, working well with others, etc. It's a lot of stuff like that that matters a lot. I think we're dead, though. I think we're dead. GG. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. All, all those sorts of things have different meanings to the different people that do them and that believe in them. And not judging people that you don't understand is the secret to enlightenment. When you see people that live ways you wouldn't and you think to yourself, good for them, instead of, uh, then you have, you have ascended, you have ascended above the map, the muck. When you see that flamboyant looking guy doing his thing walking down the street, the only thing you should think to yourself is, more power to you, bro. That's what freedom's about. Bad news, SCV ready. You're the boss. Gotcha. Ah, you scared me. SCV ready. It's the same reason why you don't hear me talk smack about anybody over here, you know? I don't make anybody's business my business. I don't go out of my way to make my business anybody else's business. It keeps things simple. It keeps things easy.
we hear you. Uh-huh. In the rear with the gear. Go, go, go! Who wants some? Man Center 2.0, ready to go. Looking forward to it. I hate that they just make it look so open. That's that's how the guy got me the other game. They make it look so open. This is visually like a travesty. I feel like I need vision, but I can see this mineral pad. I can see all of it from the outside. It's just the way, it, I guess it's just the art, right? The art on it. The art is just so, so deliberately unreadable. There it is. We're almost there. There it is. All right. We'll start plus one as soon as we can. And our third. Perfect. What's going on? Yep. Uh -huh. He's probably going to go straight to lair from this point, right? Probably go right up to corruptors. I think we can handle that, though. Let's go, baby. Let's get her done. Research complete. A phenomenal finish. Got him.
A little too late. A little too late there. Good scout denial. It was a good scout denial by us. Sometimes, sometimes you build the battle cruisers and then you just win. Sometimes that happens. It's very nice. Not every game, not every game can turn into a 45 minute banger. No, we wrecked him. Yeah, no, crushed him. We're just chilling. We're just building our stuff up. I didn't realize it was a reduced number of episodes for the uh, the ones who live. Apparently, the finale is on Sunday. It's been pretty good. Hasn't been that much to watch though. Roger. Below below deck this week was like, eh. They got a new crew member. He's really hot, but turns out he's an airhead. So he's one of those. He's one of those guys. He's one of those guys that uh, all the girls on the boat are like, oh, he's dreamy. Then he opens his mouth, and they're like, yeah, you know. Yeah, Sunday. That'll be cool. That'll be nice. Is this the guy that I just played against who did the... Is this the guy that I beat when I put the planetary on this base? Ready for pickup? Drop. 
Talk. Now what? Systems go. SCB ready. Life flight's here. Waiting on you. Here's ready for pickup. Yeah, we're both doing nothing. Except I'm mining resources. If he's not gonna do anything... Okay, well... I'll take it. I'll take it. Oh, my medevac's still alive. Hell yeah. Looking for observers or something outside my base. Do you think he's just going to go, like, directly into Tempest because of the last game? Don't have to worry as much about mining that now because we have the other option. Do you see how many dudes he has? What did you see? 
old men. Here we go. Command center 2.0 add on finished. Put add on down. Swap away. Oh, wait. Pick an effort. Drop it off. Upgrade complete. Beautiful. Stay your reach. You've mined out some of your minerals. Bad news. Big job, huh? You didn't build your base just for it to get blown up, did you? Yeah. The research is ready. It's got building armor, but it's not enough. It's okay. We've got bases. We've got bases. Crazy gateway army. That's the problem, right? I still have this one. Yeah, my PCs are a little too strong. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Beautiful. Yeah, he had no attack upgrades. That's why the planetary took so long for him to kill. He had no attack upgrades, but the planetary had building armor, so. Tough game. Could have he could have killed your tank and been in your main easily. That's the that's the game, right? Decision making. Decision making is so important. There's a lot of choices. There's a lot of choices you gotta make when you play StarCraft. There's a lot of things that can happen. There's a lot of things that can happen.
Good morning, Frank Sriracha. Confused about the D2? Aren't you like 4,500 minimum normally? It's the least attractive thing you've ever said in my chat, Miro. I love you. Try again. If you guys ever have a question, I want you to know. The safest way to ask is to simply ask why. All you have to do is ask why. But if you assume stuff and ask a question in that way, I'm going to tell you that you're being unattractive. Please, please don't assume anything. Thank you. Yeah, last time I was playing 1v1 seriously, my MMR was about 5,200. I ain't that guy anymore, though. And I ain't gonna try hard to win. It ain't gonna happen. I'm gonna build battle cruisers and make jokes about shitty movies. That's what we do here. But there's nothing more unattractive than uh, asking about MMR, guys. There's nothing. There's nothing less attractive than that. Seek happiness, of course. Command center upgrade complete. I promise you guys, asking why is always safer than assuming. Cheddar, yellow cheddar, of course. I don't really eat grilled cheeses, though, so I'm not a good person to ask. That's just what my wife eats. What's going on? Ready. Uh, what's the Yes, I am. Thank you, sir. God bless you. Truthfully, my life has never been better than it is right now. No, I, I spent like most of my whole entire life completely alone. It was brutal. It was brutal. Brutal, traumatizing, stressful in a million different ways. And it ain't like that anymore. I wouldn't trade I wouldn't trade where I am right now for anything. Where's the emergency? Nice grab, nice grab. Okay, okay. What's 
our target. SCV ready. Yeah, I got I got everything I want now. I got everything I want now. I can go outside and see trees, breathe in clean air, drink clean water. I got people that love me in my life now. I never had that. It was crazy. Yeah, things are a lot. Things are a lot better than they used to be. I think I meant to start my fusion core instead of a third star port though, so we might we might be a little might be in a little bit of a dangerous spot. Little spot up all the Yeah, you want that raven, don't you, girl? Your command center's got some new toys. Yeah, it doesn't hurt to have a live-in therapy dog either. No, it doesn't. He's a good boy. If it makes you feel better, Grinini, I used to make a lot more money and people thought I was popular on the internet and somewhat cool and I was miserable and completely hated my life and wanted to die almost every single day. So, if it makes you feel better, you know, <laughs> grass always looks greener on the other side, am I right? GG. Grass always looks greener. That's what you are right now. Man, it's tough. It's tough. When things were rolling good, I did you don't you're not really like aware that all the people in your life are usually like they all just like it's a lot of leeches, you know? The number the number of people that are gone the moment you don't have anything they can take from you is truly eye-opening. And knowing that, having that experience was also helpful. But really, I mean, I dated for years. I tried to make friends, I tried to go out and do stuff, but you know, people could always tell. People could always tell. I had, you know, I had some demons. And just nobody was interested. You know? It's tough. It's tough. Every person in your life says, I don't want to talk about that kind of thing. Can you just not bring that up anymore? You know? It's hard. It's hard, man. That's what most that's what most people need. I will say, if you feel that way, and you have you have the means. I would definitely, definitely advise you to see a therapist, even if you really don't think you need one. But my ability to communicate with other people was something that was always affected by how alone I was all the time. A lot of basic, a lot of basic things I didn't really understand, you know? But it takes work, though. It gets a little bit easier. It gets a little bit easier every day. But you gotta do it. It's the most important thing. Even if all you do is get up, say you're doing it, and then you failed, you know, you're the only person. You're the only person that can hold yourself accountable. Just remember that. No matter how much you want somebody to push you to do that thing you need to do that you know you need to do, the reality is nobody cares. Most of them are thinking the same thing. Oh, if only somebody could just help make this one easy thing I need to do a little easier. That's how every single person feels. Oh, someone would just give me an opportunity. Oh, if I could just get another chance. Oh, this or that. 
But that's just the same shit everybody says to themselves every single day while they do nothing. I love what I do because no matter how much I succeed or fail, at least I'm doing it. At least I'm here. I'm putting myself out here, doing the best I can. You know, as far as being a streamer goes, am I less entertaining because I don't scream at the game all the time and make up a bunch of fake shit to drive hype? No, it's true. I gave up on that because too many people harassed me in real life about it and made my wife and her family's life miserable. Like, people ended up taking it really seriously, you know? So it's like... I still don't feel great all the time, but now I know that it has nothing to do with the game, you know? And I took space from the game to get to that place in my life. And eventually, I got to a point where I realized I was still angry and sad, even though I wasn't playing the game at all. And I thought, well, it sure would be convenient if the only excuse I had was because of the other stuff I was doing, right? The other game I played. It's like, well, that doesn't, that's not really a fair either, you know? There's just... There's just shit. We all got shit hanging over our heads to some degree or some degree or another. I've been trying to get to a place where I'm more open and comfortable sharing how I feel with people that matter to me, or at least trying to find people to talk to. And yeah, it's not easy. It's not easy. It's tough. It is tough. And then the more I try to, more I try to peel away all that, all that shit. I buried myself in so I could be safe from other people bothering me. The more I the more I rip that away, the more you know, it's like you feel everything again. It's tough. What's going on? You didn't just you don't just bury stuff, you know? You don't you don't settle you don't deal with it and then bury it. You just bury it immediately so you can keep moving. That's tough. I don't have any good advice. I can't afford to see a therapist. But I'll tell you this. You're not alone. Every single person feels that way. Whether they admit it or not. It is very hard to go through this life with absolutely zero trauma. You gotta win quite a jack- You gotta win quite a jackpot to not have any problems. Even people without problems are really good at making problems for themselves. Even- Even people with no problems have problems. So to get- To get to nothing- Nothing at all? Well, I mean, that's not a very reasonable or realistic expectation, right? You wouldn't put that expectation on somebody you love, so why would you put it on yourself? When you're beating yourself up and giving yourself crap, ask yourself, would you speak like this to anybody you care about? Do you think anybody that you care about would want to hear you talking like that to yourself? Usually the answer is no. Everybody wants to be like, oh, I just want to avoid bad things. I want to make sure these things don't happen. It's... Being prepared is how you prevent bad things from ruining your life. But you cannot prevent bad things from happening. Your command center's got some new toys. Well, he had a pretty fast setup to shut this down. I'm not super worried about it because I think we're in a great spot. So I just say we push it. Do. Bad news. 
No, that's why all that crazy propaganda shit just tries to make you hate people that you don't know. Because the whole entire point is that they all have the same exact shit going on in their lives that you and I do. They just try to tell you everybody's different. Everybody's crazy different. Like there's people in this world that don't spend most of their day wondering, you know, if they can do everything in their power to protect their family. But if you ask me, I would say most, I would say most people, most people do feel that way. It's the work of many, 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 many people with a lot of money to convince you that anybody else, anybody else has it that much better or worse than you. Good. What's going on? Man, got a target in mind. Adjusting for new coordinates. You've depleted that mineral field. Command center up. Whoa, brother. Mind out of mineral field. Good thing you've got more of those, right? Bro, he um he pulled a plug. But he just crashed his own computer with his APM or something. Did, did he try to lag hack me and he crashed himself? Is that what happened? Oh, Katie sent me another picture of Finn. Look at him. He's so cute. That's Lewis's husband. That's Larsh's husband. He's a good boy. He is such a good boy. No, it looks like this guy was trying to do the APM thing to crash my game, but my computer's better than his, so his crashed. <laughs> I don't know what I got let's check the charts. Did his APM go to infinity during that? Let's just see. That's Finnegan. That's Finnegan, husband of Lewis. They got they got married at our wedding. They got they got married at our wedding. It was a it was a double feature, you could say. No, I guess he just bugged out. He hasn't had a new toy since you got him that tennis ball six months ago. Yeah, yeah. That's nice. That's nice. Were there any changes to the patch since the PTR? Uh, the only things that didn't make it were the Cyclone buff and the High Templar buff. So Protoss doesn't get rapid fire. So they, they took that away. And then they made it so the Cyclone... The only difference between the Cyclone now and the version that it just was is that it does 20% less damage. So the Cyclone is much, much worse. Uh, but aside from that, everything is everything else is pretty similar. I made a video on the patch. There's a command and you guys can just check out my YouTube. I talk about all the changes in the patch and my thoughts and stuff. So I would encourage you to look there. Um, I'm going to be more responsive to comments in the chat that are like, vibing you know what i mean like what's going on what are you up to how are you guys doing that kind of thing so uh if you have any serious questions about the game or anything like that i would encourage you to reach out on discord or again of course watch the watch the video linked above so let's go again
Yeah, thanks for sharing that, guys. Thanks. We got another Protoss. Let's get it. The quest for glory begins. Yes. Yeah, the now playing song is over the, it's on top of the mini map. I do have the encoder for the stream set to prioritize the webcam in the center of the screen. So I hope it pops. I hope it pops. You found it. You're good. You're good. If you ever want to, if you ever want to check out the music I'm listening to on stream, by the way, all my playlists are public. I do share all of them. Uh, I'm currently working on Synthanius Volume Four, but if you're interested in checking out the music we're listening to today, I would encourage you exclamation point playlist. Today I'm listening to Volume Two. I think yeah, today's Volume Two. I haven't listened to this one on stream in a little bit, so I was I was kind of feeling it. I was kind of feeling it. It's been a good day. It's been a good day. Good day on the stream today, too. Mostly good games. I started uh, I, I started up an old account. As you guys know, I've only been laddering on Europe all year. So this is this is the first account that I'm playing uh, ranked games on, on the NA server again. If you're curious why I'm playing the NA server now, it's because I played some other games that have US servers that are good and, well... I changed my mind about being willing to deal with the lag, so that's all. Whoop woo! Something I never had. Oh, fast forge too. Yeah, man, I'm just vibing right now, man. I'm just vibing. That's it. it Chilling and grilling or whatever. Whatever they did on Disney. Wait, 
Oh my god. You got coordinates or what? It's to be I'm like, there is no justice. Well, he's just building cannons at the front of his base? What? Talk to me. What in tarnation? Go ahead. Bad news? Yeah, whatever. This better be. SCB ready. Add on done. Swap away. Who wants some? Where? Our Your base is under CB ready. Well, butter been waiting on you. Thank you for the adept. There we go. Research complete. See what he's got. If there's anything else out here. It's a cannon rush. I mean, he rushed a forge and he's just building cannons in his own base. And I'm like, I don't even know, man. I don't even know. He's doing some weird turtle ninjutsu. It's afraid. Now what's he going to do? I'll take it. Oh yeah, Cy no, Cyclones, Cyclones, we don't. Cyclone is relegated back to the old role it used to have. All you can do is make one or two defensively and that's it. They're not they're not very good. If they if they had gone through with the damage buff they were looking to do for upgrades, then I think the Cyclone would be probably like a top top five unit, but they didn't end up doing it, so there's there's not not a lot of value. Not a lot of value proposition in Cyclones anymore. You can still get them out without a tech lab, so it's you just rush one or two to defend, and then you then you don't make any more. So it's like it's like back old back in the old days, back in the olden days. Oh, 
Here we go. Oh, free Colossus, hell yeah. Talk to me. Ready for pickup? Waiting on you. It's a trap. Life flight? Now what? That was not worth it. Pick it up or off. That's okay though. Not over. It's not over either. So. What's going on? Now what? Here's waiting on you. You've depleted that mineral field. Ah! Oh! Life flight here. I didn't get it. Oh, that one didn't go off though. Are you ready for it? Do you know? I feel it too. I'll take it. Closing in upgrade on ready. Noise. Yes, Commander. You Yeah, based on what we know about what he has and where where what he has is, I'm not I'm not that concerned. Look how many. Got some new toys. Upgrade complete. Let's do it, baby. What you got? Yeah, you're using your mass shield batteries, huh? Let's do it.
keep on running. Yeah, he's in deep doggy doo doo. You've exhausted that best being guys. Go for it, bro. You're almost there. Your face is getting blasted. I don't think he realized I had this base either. This is it. This is it. Now he's cooked. There it is. GG, baby. Doo doo of the deep variety. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Zergnado. That's right. That, that's, again, like I said, I have on, on a. On Battle.net, there's a lot of people who have this who used to play on the Latin American server. But I actually have two accounts on my account. I have two accounts on my account. So, I don't ever play ranked as the original Nathanius account anymore. I'm never going to do that again. Um, they'd have to really revamp the game in a big way for me to commit seriously uh, like that. But this is the other one that I have. So I think it made me do all five placements again. I, I was, it used to be like 47, 4,800 MMR, but I just didn't play on it for a couple of seasons. So it's been a nice, it's been a nice uh, getting back into the groove of things. So we've had a lot of, a lot of pretty good opponents too. Okay, guys, I'm going to take the last break of the day. Because we're about four hours into today's show. I am going to grab myself another water, do a little uh, exercise and... Use the restroom. I'll be right back, and then we'll be playing for about another three hours. About another three hours of games coming your way. Thanks for hanging.
All right, we're back. We got about three more hours of games, ladies and gentlemen. Buckle in. Thanks for hanging. All right, we got a another Protoss. <clears throat> yeah, it's on the it's on my YouTube. I made a video about the patch. I was I was pretty uh, I was pretty excited about it. I think I think this patch is one of the best things to ever happen to the game. I still think Protoss's best build is Blink. So, most of your builds in the PTR, in the PTR, the, <coughs> sorry. Probe, probe distracted me from taking a sip of water. But a lot, a lot of Protoss players are still going to go blink every game. In the PTR version, when the Cyclones had the better upgrades, I felt like it was easier to deal with Stalkers if you got enough, like if you could out-macro them. But I don't, I don't think that's the case anymore. Let's do something crazy. Let's do something completely crazy. Off the rails. Nathaniel. It's never been it's never been done before. That's why it's going to work. No, but the new maps are great. The patch is great. I haven't been I haven't been this happy about an update to StarCraft in a long time. You guys you guys know that. I think it's a waste of time trying to patch for competitive. 
There's not there's not really anything to worry about competitive balance wise anymore since the scene is entirely owned by one third party company now. So I think the biggest thing they could do is just try and get more people to play the game. And I think that patches like this get us there. I think I think they do. I believe I believe that. From the bottom of my heart. Why are my SCVs going over there? Oh, they're trying to follow the medevac still, probably. He's just keeping all of his stuff up there, huh? That's good, though. Do you, can you believe I've bullied this man inside of his own base with just Thors, by the way? It's beautiful. I feel like I, I feel like I'm just doing the craziest build ever. I really do. What the hell is going on, bro? Wee! Yahoo! You mind out a mineral field. Good thing you've got more of those, right? Now what? Waiting on you. And that is the sign that it is time to go. We kept him locked inside of his base the whole entire game. Able to get out BCs. Mind out of mineral field. 
deal. Good thing you Yeah, fuck it. Just go, baby. Get her done. Now what's he gonna do? Now what? You've depleted that mineral field. Loud and clear. I heard that. Wait on you. Well, hallelujah. All right, not too shabby. Oh, he canceled his third. Beautiful. I didn't realize he, he canceled the third base. He canceled the third and he was like, that's it. I'm just going in. He had a lot of immortals, though. I didn't expect him to go immortals. I thought he would. I, th I thought he would do something different. But I think I guess I gave him the wrong the wrong sign when he scouted me. I just want to see. Because I did go double gas. So, I mean, usually it's like Widow Mines. Everybody gets so ready for mines, but I didn't go mines. And he, I, Did he get a follow-up scout? Before, or did he just go Immortals blindly? Yeah, he just went blind Immortal. That's crazy. That's crazy. If I had done a... If I had just Battlecruiser rushed him, I guess we win for free. If I get this guy again, we just BC rush him because we know he'll go immortal on one base with no no units. And I just want to see was was there anything that actually saw this coming? I just want to know if the if I flew into that obs or not. The fact that he had two immortals in his main base off no scout. Like, either his plan was always to do an immortal charge lot all in, or this guy is sus AF. Okay, he did have the observer there, though, so at least we know that. GG. Fascinating game. Fascinating game. Yeah, he's still searching for a game, too. Yeah, when someone when you have a game like that and then you see they didn't immediately search for another match and you're like, is he trying to get a rematch against me? I'm like, mm, eh, well, I'm okay. I think I'm good. I'll queue up when he's in a game. You guys know the drill. If you want me to just search immediately, I can queue unranked. But if I'm going to play for points, you got to do it. You got to do the cooking by the book. You got to do the cooking by the book. Thank you. Thank you, though. It was really fun to do the Thor drop. I highly enjoyed that. All right, let's go next.
Yeah, Thor drop old school TLO. That's right. That's right. Who blindly, who blindly rushes two immortals inside of their own main base, right? A sussy baka. That's who. If I had gone for a battle cruiser rush, I bet you anything would have been like, oh well, it's Nathan. Of course you were gonna go BCs. Thank you, though. Thank you, Attack Counter. We are searching for a game, so I'll let you know when we get one. Thanks for hanging out, guys. Let's see. Did he snipe me? No, no. We got somebody else. Okay. Yeah, we got a TVT. Let's just play it, then. Let's just play it. I think the biggest Unreal 5 game I'm excited for this year is Metal Gear Solid 3. I am I am pumped. I am pumped about playing Metal Gear 3 again this year. That should be awesome. That should be awesome. Yeah, Metal Metal Gear Solid Delta is going to be fantastic. I can't wait. It looks it looks like they're just literally porting the game directly, like as directly as possible. So that's cool. I love you, Jeff. This game's not being made by Konami, though, so you don't have to worry about that. They're paying. They're paying a completely separate company to port the game to Unreal Five. That's all. Konami. Konami has no involvement with the game. I'm sure the only thing that they specified was. Don't put Kojima's name anywhere, except the credits with everybody else. That would that would most likely that would most likely be my my guess. But Konami is not making the game. Konami does not have a game development team. Konami does not make games. They are currently paying two different companies to make two different remakes of old games though, on Unreal 5. There's Silent Hill 2 remake, which is being made by Neo Bard Studios. Neo Bards, they are known for, uh, they made Resident Evil 3 Remake, as well as the multiplayer Capcom title Resident Evil Resistance. Uh, they also made another multiplayer game that was released with Resident Evil Village, known as uh, R-E-Verse, Reverse. But, uh, yeah. Yeah, companies, companies like Neo Bards and Bluestone or whatever... They've got they've got some other company doing um yeah whoever's been doing the PS5 remakes they just they just paid them to remake Metal Gear Solid 3 <coughs> but they're using all the original audio assets from the first game David David Hader confirmed that they didn't record any new lines and he's being he's like the guy promoting the game so uh, all you need to know about Konami is that they are a shell company. That's all. They are a shell company of their own IPs. They used to make games. Their games were really popular. Then they stopped making games, but they still license their games. Does that make sense? But yeah, yeah. Konami, Konami is just a holding company. They don't, they don't actually make stuff anymore. What the hell? What is this? Is this 
guy just trying to like BC rush me? This guy must be blazed AF. There it is. Was he proxying me? No. He's just baked AF, I guess. You guys see my mouse cursor is still visible when I scroll. I just gotta restart my game. And then we'll be there. We'll be good. I've been playing on Linux again today. I was like, if I'm going to try a little bit, you know, if I'm going to play some ranked games and, and try a little bit, then I wanted to, I wanted to, uh, I wanted to make sure that I wasn't going to have the bug, you know, the, the one that tilts me with the camera jumping. I forget how smooth it is when I play, when I play it on this though. The FPS is just, the frame times are so good. Let's go. Right back on the horse. Have fun, he says. I'll do my best. GG, haha. Yeah, I mean, that was weird. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know. I don't know about a Metal Gear marathon. I had to, th I had to think about that. Maybe that's a part of my anxiety thing. That feeling like we can't play a game with cutscenes. Because if I, if I, you know, maybe that is, maybe that is something I just need to get over. Maybe we should just play Metal Gear Solid at some point. Maybe we should just do it. There have been quite a few, quite a few updates to the Master Collection stuff. They've improved a lot of things on there, so. I have, I have the Master Collection. Metal Gear Solid's like one of my core memory games. It's very formative for me. I played it a lot growing up. My uncle, or I, my godfather, gave me Metal Gear Solid 1 and a PS1 when I turned like 5 or 6 or some shit. It was awesome. I played Castlevania and Metal Gear Solid like a hundred times. We couldn't afford to buy a lot of games, so the ones we had, I played a lot. I played a lot. I am I am that guy who crafted the perfect MGS1 save where you get both the bandana and the tuxedo. Yeah, I'm good. I'm good like that. And the camo. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I've done it all. Done it all. Have I unlocked all 200.3%? Have I unlocked all 200.6%? Of the map in Castlevania? Yes, I have. Command center, 
2.0 ready to go. Agreed. Fair enough. On the way. Well, that's all. Done. The 200.6% club. I do like the sound of that. I do. It's got a nice ring to it. I'm just a little kid, you know, I'm in this scene. You're like, oh, you got to survive or they're going to kill Meryl. And it's like, okay, I'm going to button mash like crazy. So I don't, I just assume that the game will end, right? You just assume that it will actually game over if you fail. So you don't know what's going to happen if you fail. Then Otacon dies and I'm like, oh my God, that's disgusting. I cried, man. I was a little kid and I cried with Otacon in my arms. That was a lot. That was intense. Then this guy talking about superior genes and Snake is all like, it's the choices that you make in your life that define who you are, not who you're born as. And I'm like, damn. That's a nice thought, isn't it? If people think it's just a war game, people shooting each other, some dumb spy movie crap, nah. It's straight up, it's straight up JoJo's Bizarre Adventure with guns, that's all. Some good shit. Metal Gear is good stuff. Ready for dust off. <laughs> that, that probably had that probably had my best my best male role models growing up. I don't I'm not using that to say anything good. I'm just saying it. It is pathetic how little damage Cyclones do. If he does a drop, that's like really the only concern because otherwise I just want to go for the BC rush. So if he goes like mass Cyclone all in, he might kill me here. If he has a drop. If he has a drop, he might be able to kill me. I'm trying to double. I'm trying to go double BC, so I am. I am being a little bit, little bit greedy. I think you could say. Think you could argue my strategy is more or less over the top. At least a little bit. Command center upgrade complete. You didn't build your base just for it to get blown up, did you? I'm going. FCB ready. No, you see the position that he was in, though? The way he was chilling there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, he wanted to go for it. Big time. We're almost there. We're almost there. 600 gas. We need 600. 600 gas. There it is. There it is. Okay. Two BCs are on the way. It's happening. What's going on? It's real. There you go. It doesn't matter if he doesn't let me have the whole base. I don't care. Yeah, you can burn all your Raven energy killing and killing these SCBs. That's fine. I mean, it's not the best situation for the build that I tried to do. I, 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 I can admit that. But it ain't over yet either. Yeah, see? He's, he's not even going into mass cyclone, so we're fine. Yes, 
SUVs didn't sign up to fight. Big job. Can I just kill all these? They don't really deal damage, so. I think, right? Maybe? It's close. I think without the Marines and the Ravens, I might win that. If he doesn't have if he doesn't have the Marines and the Ravens there, I think I can win that. Research complete. Was it worth it? Yeah, it's always worth it, man. You know what I picture at the start of a game of StarCraft when I think about what I want? I just I just picture battle cruisers. That's it. It's part of why I'm so happy all the time. It's because what I want is not that hard to get, right? All I have to do is avoid attaching a bunch of other shit to that, right? Like, oh, build battle cruisers and win. Well, fuck, man. Can't control winning every game. It's not possible. I'm not a god. I don't think of myself as a god, right? So you gotta, you gotta have other things. If somebody asks you if you're a god, I'm under the impression that you are obligated to say yes, but I do believe the context for that advice was also a little different than our current, you know, our, pres our present context, anyway. We're building a lot of command centers. I need more orbitals. I did not want to have all these planetaries protecting my bases. At the same time, you know, there's, there's only there really is only so much you can control, only so much that you can do. So we just gotta try, try and try, try. Okay, he's got a lot of Vikings. Don't 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 don't. Go ahead. You've mined out some of your minerals. Yes, come on. Upgrade ready. Moist. You mined out a mineral field. Good thing you've got more of those, right? No, oh, he's he's into the mass. He's into the mass Viking Raven already. Yeah, he's ready. He's ready to go. He's ready to go the distance with me here. Fire your forces. 
Find out some of your minerals. Roger. Who called in the fleet? Your command center's got some bad guys closing in on your army. It's a trap. Your SCVs are being liberated in the mine out of mineral field. Good thing you've got more of those. You shouldn't have had any vision of that, bro. So he can't retarget with interference matrix until it's over. So I should be able to get away here. That was the buff they did to the battle cruiser in this patch. This is really the hardest part is that I just don't have an easy time keeping up with the economies put together. I've almost got enough to one-shot his bases, though, so that, that should make things easier. Okay, let's do this. Exhausted that best being geyser. Bad news. Yes, Commander. Bum ba dum bum. You gonna catch my units out in the middle of the map again, big boy? I feel pretty good about this, actually. Easy, easy clap. Got him. What's going on? Nice dub. Did he take this base? No, okay. Whew. Oh, he only just took this one, too. I guess he was attacking a lot, right? He was attacking a lot this game. Not too shabby. The the opener that he did really made me think that he was gonna like try and do the interference matrix bust. I think that was the biggest the biggest thing that worked out cuz our medevac drop did very little. Our, med our medevac drop kind of, kind of completely, completely failed. Right? We bungled it. 
And he just went for a lot of Cyclones with a Raven, which is not a bad way to do it. Like, you know, you could get two to four Cyclones, I think, with a Raven, and that's a pretty good way to start. The fear here is that he Interference Matrix takes out your uh, tank, and then, then everything kind of just goes to shit after that, so you got to be careful. He only had four. He only had four Cyclones, though, so we, we were fine. Six, six would have been enough to kill us. I was worried he would try to lock on to the depots and break them down from below and then crawl up the ramp. I think that's what a better player might have done. Like if I was if I was him and I was trying to force this, I think maybe you try and get the depots on the bottom side, but he might not have thought he was in lock on range or maybe he wasn't. Maybe my setup was actually covering all the bases. It's hard to say sometimes though. Yeah, I made a video talking about the patch. It's on the YouTube's. It's on the YouTube's. Right, we're beating Master League players, so I think we did. We did restart this account today, so we're we're back up there. It didn't take us very long. We've got a random player. Do we just do the Thor rush since he's random and we don't know we don't know what he is, right? Just do the Thor build. I kind of want to. I kind of want to. I think that'd be a fun. I think that'd be fun. I would enjoy it. Anyway. So we should do it. Since the world revolves around me and all that jazz, you know. Feels like. Feels like it makes sense. Feels like it makes sense. Center upgrade complete. Let's go see if there's a proxy outside the base or something. I'm 
You guys hear Shrek 2 is gonna be in movie theaters again next week. I haven't I haven't seen anything that looked interesting enough to invest my time into wanting to watch, but I think Katie and I, I think we're gonna go see Shrek 2 soon. I think I think I'm excited about that. Yeah, that's what I'm saying, right? That's what I'm saying. Oh, thank you. What? Thank you for the 30 sheet, Pitch. Thank you, Pitch. God bless you, bro. Is there a reason it's coming back into theaters? Yeah, it's the 20 year anniversary. It's the 20 year anniversary of Shrek 2. I said, Katie, I said we take the edible before we go and we, and then we get to see that scene at the end with the giant giant gingerbread man and everything on a giant screen and I'm like, "You know what? That sounds that sounds pretty fun to me. That sounds like a pretty fun pretty fun Saturday afternoon." Sounds like a fun Saturday afternoon. Waiting on you. What's going on? Picking up. Look at these people. You would think. You would think suddenly everybody's rushing suddenly everybody's rushing immortals now. Oh my gosh. Crazy. Oops. Life flights here. Your SCVs are under attack. Workers win games. Protect them.
What's going on? SCB ready. We lined out a mineral field. Good thing you've got more of those, right? Oh, really? You've lined out some of your minerals. Go ahead. SCB ready. What an absolutely silly game. That's the second time somebody rushed Immortals in their own main off no scout. That's the second time that's happened to me today. That is hilarious. What a funny day of games. Keep turtling, bro. You're almost there. You're almost there. Oh, you just needed one more hit. Shame. Yeah, that's what Rick Astley was saying back at the end of the 80s. Just one more hit. That's all I need. More of a burnt turtle, if you ask me. Oh, he's crispy. Crispy? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's fair, that's fair. No, Chick-fil-A sauce! What are you going to do, bro? What are you going to do? You're going to make me cringe into leaving the game? Is that it? You're going to cringe me out, bro? Let's just fight. Let's just go, bro. Yeah, you use the overcharge, then I run away from you. That's how this works. That is how this works. Cause I don't mind waiting for you. Yeah, I think this is the part where we just take as many bases as we can and enjoy being rich. Right? You just enjoy being very wealthy now. Took me a little while to get my Yamato, I won't lie. That was that was a little bit of a drag, man. Just need more star ports. Probably, probably start my plus three. Now what? Don't, don't, don't. Ba da 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 da. Ba da ba ba. Ready. Waiting on you. Boom. Doof, 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 doof. See, shield batteries don't stop a Thor from killing work workers. Yeah.
Got him. Beautiful. That's what I like to see. That's what I like to see. You would think the immortals could aim just a little bit higher to hit the big fat target slightly above them until you realize that the BCs would actually orbit the planet and bombard it from there. Most likely, yes. Okay, let's see, let's see. He's a new account. He's a new account. That's the only game he played today. And he was sus AF. I'm not going to accuse him of anything. Let's give him time to search for a game. I'm gonna use the bathroom real quick. I love you guys. He's already in a game. We're fine. I just gotta, I just gotta get, just gotta get my water refilled and give myself a moment to breathe. I'm playing NA today, Codale. I'll be right back real quick, guys. I'm, I'm out of water too. We're back. Yo, yo. Let's get it. Welcome back. Thanks, Gil. Also, thank you again, Pitch. Thank you for the 30. That's incredibly generous of you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. We got another Protoss. It's time to kick things off. Let's go. You think this guy's gonna rally an immortal directly into his own mineral line off no scout? You guys think it's gonna happen again? Roger. Go ahead. Yeah, I don't know why. I don't know why they do that. I don't know why they do that. I haven't had anybody rush Immortals versus Cyclones, though. No. Every game where I've done my, my new Thor thing that I've been messing with, though, 
Like I've played, I've done it against two different players today, and both of them went immortal first with no scout. Like this doesn't tell you anything. You need you need a follow up scout with either like an adept or hallucinated phoenix because the standard build is to do a mind drop. That's the most normal thing. And then sometimes there's a cyclone drop, but you don't need immortals to deal with that because you just you just kind of send two stalkers after the cyclones and kite them back. And you push the medevac away because the cyclones don't actually deal that much damage. So usually, usually, they just go blink every game. But if I do this, they don't. It's like magic. It's like magic. Nobody will go blink against me if I do this build. It's beautiful. Bet your bottom dollar this homie's rushing immortals too. That's how it feels. Hopefully I'm wrong this game, though. I'm only calling it out because I'd like to see it change. So, let us pray. Now, see, I like this. I like this. You can get plus, you can start plus one for your air. You can get drilling claws. There's so many things you can do from the investment into tech that you make for this kind of build. It's very silly. It's very silly and very funny and I like it. I like it a lot. It would probably be better type of strategy to proxy it or something, but that's okay. I'm so nervous. <laughs> I don't know what's going to be waiting for me on the other side. Now what? Well, hallelujah. ready. Add-ons finished. the emergency? Heading out. Will do. I don't know. Was that worth it? Probably not, right? See, you don't I don't think you need immortals to hold it. That's why I was that's why it was so weird to me that everybody did it. What do you guys think? Just mass blink stalker then? He does have a robo. He did make a robo, so. Yo, Pear Bites. Good evening, man. I hope you're doing well. God bless. He just sent an observer into my base for the first time this game. It's right here between the expansions. I think if I try to make a move for it, he'll just... There we go. 
Nice. So he just took his third, so that's not too bad. It's not too bad for us at all. go Yo, Crunt. Good to see you, man. Hope you're doing well. We've just been chilling today. It's been a good day. Good stream. What is he doing? Oh, he's straight to Stargate this game, huh? Oh, let's do it. This is what he wants, right? This is what he. This is what he wants, I believe. See? Perfect. Perfect. He's got a decent amount of charge lots, is what we were seeing, right? What's going on? He already seemed aware of it, though, right? The observer saw it, so yeah, he's had these stargates going for a little bit, probably. Yeah, see, he's we've got him. We've got him all cooped up now. We've got him all cooped up. He's probably going straight to like Tempest or something. It's my guess. Since, since he isn't really doing anything, I just have to assume that's what it is. Right? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, see? Some 
Bad guys closing in on your army. Upgrade ready. Noise. What's going on? Huh? Gotcha. Yes, Commander. Your research is ready. Your face is getting blasted. Oh, really? Take it, sir. Your command center's got some new toys. Got him. That was amazing. Yo, these Vi the Vikings. The Viking reinforcements clutching the game. I tagged the Immortal. I don't know if you guys saw. I tagged the Immortal with the Battle Cruiser before I teleported it out or let it die or whatever I did. I attacked the Immortal for just a second just to make sure its barrier was on cooldown. And then when my Vikings came over, they killed the Tempest. I land them and they kill everything. That was beautiful. Like, I, I can't write it up better than that. That was nice. That was very nice. It's hard. It's hard to script it better than that. And that guy's way higher ranked than me, too. That was awesome. People respect the Thor rush. That match could be a novel. Amen, bro. That was wild. That was absolutely wild. Are you aware of some attack on custom games in SC2? Yeah, I ain't even touching that. I got nothing there. I got nothing. Yeah, there's there's some there's some guy who's holding custom games hostage every couple of days like he's Bane in, in Gotham City. I have I have no I have no interest in in his shenanigans. Oh! Another dub. Noise! You love to see it. You love to see it.
Some weird stuff. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Ba-da, 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 ba-da. Let's go next. Supposedly we're in the clear now. <laughs> you know, people keep saying that. People keep saying that. You people think that the guys like server thing getting taken down, they seem to believe that it means something. But they can dude can just make an infinite amount of accounts and do it forever and ever. Based on how easy he made it seem, the only thing that people talking about it is gonna do is draw attention. And people are gonna realize that's the new way to troll StarCraft players. Who are some of you know? We got a sensitive bunch here. A lot, a lot of you know. A lot of people can't handle criticism. So the more, the more that people talk about it and turn this guy into a legend for bricking custom games, you know, they're just all you're doing is letting some other mentally unwell person know that they, they could probably do it too. You know. Go ahead. Ready. That's why I'm not particularly. I mean, you guys want to talk about it, that's fine. But that's why I don't think it's good to talk about it that much. I love you guys. No, the dude's the dude's been uh, delaying his bricking of it, right? Hasn't he been waiting for Mondays or Sundays now? He just all he does all he does now is just break it right before the EPT Weekly Cup. I'm gonna guess that if he still has the capability to do it, he's just gonna do what he did this last week. He'll probably he'll probably just wait for the ESL Cup and just just ruin it like he has the last two weeks. I don't expect I don't expect it to go down except for on Mondays and Fridays. The two days where it would be the most annoying to not be able to play. You have no other place that would know anything. I don't. I don't know anything, man. I don't get any privileged information. Command center upgrade complete. I'm just. I'm just another normie like you. I have been avoiding custom games because of that dude, though. I had to load up the- I had to go to the European server just to play Unit Preloader. <laughs> what will they say of me at the town hall? We well, saw you were playing some European European unit preloader, huh? America not good enough for you anymore. The units don't preload better there. I just uh. Oh, we are dead. We getting chest. We getting chest. I mean, it's not like guaranteed to be over cuz Oh, he does have more banes. He does. He does. He's trying. Why does this guy not want to play with me? Why won't why won't he play? Why doesn't he want to play with me? 
Do you guys know? What did I do? What did I do wrong? What did I, what did I do that was so wrong? I broke your heart? Is that it? There's a lot of people out there that just don't, they don't, they don't want to play. They don't like to play the game. They boot it up and then they want it to be over. He's one of those guys. He gets to play versus the hottest guy who's ever played StarCraft. And he doesn't, and he just, all he can think of is, how do I make this experience end? It's cruel. It's a cruel life. Yeah, he just has no interest in playing. You hate to see it. Never new enjoyment, just excitement. I like that. I'm like, did you get it out of your system? Are you okay? Are you okay, buddy? Yeah, let's go. You know, people are cheesing like crazy all of a sudden. Cheesing like crazy.
I go for it, bro. The hard, the hard part about this situation is that uh, money, money is still, money is still at a premium because of the the cheese he did. So it definitely, definitely blew up our economy. My plus two attack is almost done though, so that will help. Oh, he's going into Hydra's as well. That's nice. That was perfect. I actually think I might have just fixed all my problems in this game with that move. I legitimately think that that was, uh, that was a game-winning move I just made. It was pretty sick. Not that I have won or that it's over, but I just I think I was in a really bad place. And after that, I don't think I am in such as bad of a place as I originally thought I was. So that's nice. And you see, we still get to play a long game, so his his plan, his strategy failed completely. He didn't get to do any of the stuff that he wanted to do, and that's really nice for us. That is nice. Oh, 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 oh. Touching you through. Whatever that means. Big job. Yes, sir. Touching you through. Ah, you scared me. That is. Yeah, I mean I've got plus I've got plus 2 on my battle cruisers, dude. That's what that's what I've been saying. That no, that's what I'm saying. Your corruptors I can actually kill them. That's what I'm trying to tell you. Yeah, yeah. That's what I've been trying to say it all game. This guy's been busy trying to do his uh, any percent speed run for 1v1 and SC2, though. You know, he's been busy. He's been busy. Yeah, well, these, we call these people any percenters. 
because they don't care how they win, you know? They just want to win as fast as possible. Yeah. That's, that's why I call him an any percenter. Me? I'm a 100 percenter. I like, I kind of like to do everything. I like a little bit of everything. I like to mix it up, mash it up, get it all, get it all up in there. This is, it's a, it's a, it's a difficult position to have. Yeah. Some people, some people just prefer to any percent. That's all. What is it? I think I denied his 3-3 upgrades. I don't know. He's got a lot of corruptors. Your command center's got some new toys. Do -do. You hail? Big job, huh? You might do -do 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 -do. Your base is getting blasted. Yes, Commander. Bow. Bow. Swap away. In the rear with you mind out a mineral field. Good thing you've got more of those, right? Patching you through. Big job, huh? Yes, come on. Trying to max out on pure BC is so tough. Here we go. It's happening. It's happening! Are 
Ruin on all you hear? Oh, he's straight up going for it. Look how much static defense, too. Ay, 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 yeah, no, he became one with the turtle. He is, he is one with the turtle. That's what I mean, though. Like, in a situation like this, what, what exact, how exactly do I attack him? It's gonna be very, very, very tricky to figure out. I'm just glad I still have so much money left because my base is, right? Of the, the attack he did. Well, I think he'll get sick of me soon, though. Oh, yeah. Your base is getting ready. Oh. You know what? YOLO, bro. Let's just do it. Let's go, man. There we go. Boom. Whoo. Absolutely wild. Absolutely wild. A reminder, this guy bane busted me. He he won he like one base bane busted me. This was a great win. This was a great win. And we got him to turtle up so hard. Look at this. Look at this. He had more turrets than I did. And this is after I cleared out two bases. Wild. Wild. Well, let's look at the resources lost. All right, nice. 30K to 15. That feels pretty good. That feels like a reasonably decent performance. I'll take it. I'll take it. Let's go back to the start. How far behind were we? How far behind were we from this guy's cheese? I went. I traded. GG. Yeah, man. It's always the guys that's using the fancy GLHF emojis and all that. So before this attack hits... What are we at? Like... 31 SCVs to 22 drones. We're still ahead on workers. Even now, still ahead on workers. That's actually pretty nice, then. That's actually awesome. And he's still sending lings across, too. Yeah, yeah, he, yeah, that was the mistake he made. That was the second wave of lings. This was so greedy. This was so greedy. I thought he busted you in a different game. No, that was how this game started. That's how this game started. And guy in chat's like, why is Nathan still in the game? Isn't he dead? And I'm like... Do you think it costs nothing? Do you think it do you think it costs nothing to make this many lings in four minutes? Do you guys think this is free? You think Zerglings just grow on trees? You just go down, down to the Zergling farm and you just say, I want a Zergling, and they just give you as many as you want? No. 
He spent his lunch money on those Zerglings. And that's why he's hungry. That's why he's hungry today. That's why he's hungry tonight. That was wild. Yeah, he's on a sick losing streak. Oh, he just queued against another Terran and Insta left. Oof. He just queued two more games against Terran and Insta left both of them. That's 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 rough. That's rough. We may have broken him. We may have broken him. Yeah, it happens. It happens. <laughs> we are searching for a game. We'll get we'll get into the next one as soon as we can, guys. Funny days. What a funny day. guess it is bc again i've got a couple of different builds for this patch i did have a couple of really nice mass cyclone strategies but then they didn't originally they were gonna buff the cyclone so that when you got upgrades for it it like got more from upgrades than it used to they ended up not going through with that change so it hurt it hurt it hurt my heart a little bit just the teeniest tiniest bit I had a couple of really cool builds. I had a couple of really nice strategies that I was working on on the PTR. We don't get to use them, but a man can dream, I suppose. I suppose. Yeah, the only change they made to the Cyclone instead was they, they made it so it just does 20% less DPS. So it's just it's just a lot worse. They gutted they gutted a quarter of its damage. Yes, I get it though. I mean, they were too strong, so. But they used to, it used to be in the PTR, if you had plus two or plus three, then they did more damage than the old one. So like they made them worse at the start and better on later. And then they just changed it. So they're just worse in general. So that was the only, that was the only thing that kind of sucked. But otherwise, otherwise I like everything in the patch. I wish they had gone through with the High Templar buff. You're guessing mech is not a thing on this patch? Well, I, I find that people do not have the same definition of mech as I do, so... I wouldn't really describe what I do as any sort of normal mech play. So it, it's kind of one of those things where it's, you know, your mileage may vary. I do think this is a better map pool for mech than the last pool though. But I don't play I don't play traditional mech, so. Command center upgrade complete. All right. I play the third option, battle cruisers. Oh, this just makes it seem like he's busting us now, right? I mean, this is just so awkward. He proxy maraudered? You know they gave the Cyclone more health. It takes two more hits for a marauder to kill him. Cyclones are good, bro. 
Well, he built it over. What in the? No. Sorry, guys, my wife told me when I get triggered to go grab the fruit snacks in the other room, okay? <laughs> Thank you for the sub. Thank you for the sub, valet eight. Shout out to the valet, all right? Look, he, this, guy, this guy parked everybody's cars when they came to the stream. The least we can do is be grateful. What's up, bro? Welcome to the stream. Happy Wednesday. Easy to get lost on the new maps. It's hard to proxy outside someone's base when the corners are kind of cut off. Liking the vibes? Thanks, man. I'm racking them up. Zerg NATO coming in strong. Yeah, this patch, this patch got me a lot more hyped up for StarCraft again. The maps are the most interesting we've had in years, and the quality of life changes, I think, are some of the some of the biggest. This guy, this guy just keeps leaving, huh? Realist. I remember that. I remember that name. I think he doesn't play TVT. If I look at his match history, I'm going to guess I'm going to guess he he plays everything except TVT. Let's look at his let's look at his uh, race report. What? Oh, there we go. Guys, am I am I high right now? Does he just Q unranked and None of his games count. He just queues unranked and leaves all day. Maybe I am. Oh, do I have to leave League to get promoted because uh, the season's over, right? Is that how it works? I knew it. I knew it. All right, we got a game. We got Roach Man. Every time I play this guy, he just rushes roaches with like burrow, so I guess we're about to find out how bad the new cyclone really is. If I don't if I don't if I don't try to blind counter him, this guy likes to go directly into infestation pit every game. If I battle cruiser rush him, he will have neural parasite burrow infestors waiting for me. Like, when my BC rush hits. And he's also going to probably send somewhere in the realm of 8 to 10 lings uh, towards our main ramp as soon as he can as well. That's, that's typically his MO. And then I think the only other thing we need to be ready for is... He does build one spine crawler at the front of his natural. So, could be like a big cyclone drop opportunity. Maybe we, maybe we cyclone drop rush him as fast as possible. Or maybe I just make a bunch of extra Cyclones. Maybe that's just what we do. With the extra HP, they might just be able to trade against the Roaches more effectively, so... I do think I'm going to one-base him, though. If he doesn't do the things I'm saying he's going to do, by the way... 
he he always does the same exact thing every game. So I'm I'm happy to be wrong. I will I will eat eat my chicken tenders if that is the case. I just do not believe it. I do not believe it to be so. Go ahead. I'm going. Roger. But maybe he's got some new builds too. Who knows? Who knows? Boom, ba -dum. Command center upgrade complete. There it is on schedule. Ba -dum 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 -dum. Your add on is complete. Where them lings at? Channel's clear, boss. Oh, I'll get there. Adjusting for new coordinates. FTV ready. Got it. You got coordinates online. Let's go kill something. Open. FTV ready. Systems go. Cyclone ready for action. Cyclone receiving. All right. Well, SCVs have the extra attack range too, right? So, let's see it. This might it could work. This could work.
adjusting for new cool. Show me who you ready to die. Got a target in mind? I get ya. Comms up, show me who you wanna die. Chill This ought to be good. FTV ready. I you get burrow every game, dude, it's your thing. Absolutely wild. Let's go kill something. Nothing else. Systems go. ready for action. What an absolutely crazy game though, huh? Yes, sir. Show me who you comes open. Optics online. Let's go kill something. Well, you're not gonna meet many people that are as good at using cyclones as I am. But that's also one of the reasons why I have the authority to actually say whether they're good or bad. There's there's almost nobody else that has a similar level of play as me when it comes to uh, stuff like that. Well, he just threw away all of his roaches, so... Oh yeah, I just don't really build tanks that much, that's all. I like, I mean, you'll, you'll, you'll see a lot of people describe my play style as mech, but you'll notice the key difference is that my style is all about staying and hitting my opponent as much as possible. Like, I'm always I'm always trying to deal damage and put on pressure and be out on the map. Like, this style, this style would be really hard to do with a traditional mech setup, if that makes sense, right? If that makes sense. He's fast. He's got them fast boys. State your request. Systems prime. SCV ready. You mined out a mineral field. Good thing you've got some. SCV ready. Command center. SCV ready. <laughs> yeah, this is kind of nuts. Do you, do you guys remember what I said though? Burrow, lots of burrow play, all all of that. But he plays he plays crazy greedy with his tech. If uh, if I don't if I don't rush him, so. 
kind of like Nathanius, except he doesn't change his strategy ever. Like, even, even I have my limits. There's the Infestors. Who you gonna call? Bruce Wayne. I think we did what we needed to though. He, he does have all of that stuff that we were talking about. But he, now he doesn't really have the money to support what he needs to do what he wants with this. So, At one point, he'll get a sick fungal and kill everything we have. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There we go. This is what I mean, though. This guy likes to go swarm hosts. That's my problem with him. Got him. But see, that's why I do this, though. Because if he would have swarm hosts at my base at, like, five minutes. He would have swarm hosts in my base at the five-minute mark if I didn't do this. I don't want I don't want to get swarm hosts rushed. This guy swarm host rushes people. That's like, ugh. I can't handle that. I can't handle that. Hell no. Hell no. All right, he's in a game. I don't want to rematch him. <laughs> Build looks really similar to Harsom's Terran build he posted a week ago. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I make all my builds here. You won't find anybody else doing what I do. The point of my strategy is to create situations where you get to do things that are fun, and I prioritize that above everything else, including winning the game. You could call me the fuck around, find out, Taryn, too. That's that's also appropriate. Let's go. After a link bust, normally people don't opt for BC and win. Yeah, that's, that's the other thing. I guess I'm just built differently. Protoss does, ha does have some pretty fancy, flashy toys. I can't lie. I can't lie. The problem is, my favorite Protoss unit is actually from StarCraft Brood War. My favorite Protoss unit is the Dark Archon, and it's not even in this game. Not in 1v1, anyway. It hurts. It hurts. My favorite unit in, like, StarCraft lore has to be the Archon, because the Archon is just, what it represents, like what the Archon represents is so powerful, not just like in the game, but also like the weight of what it takes to actually make an Archon. The fact that lore wise, they don't actually just get to exist forever once they do that. Like turning into an Archon is a one way trip for both Templar. Like they don't get to live after that. Like they burn out. Like a solar flare or some shit. It's tough. It's tough. It just straight up gives me, like, the Archon just gives me, uh, like, Goku, Vegeta, you know, versus Majin Buu. You guys know what I'm talking about? That's, that's what I think about. When I think about the Archon, I think about the fusion dance. And I think about, and I think about Vegito kicking the shit out of Majin Buu. That's what I think about. I love Archons. They are super badass. And they just throw Kamehameha's out of their hand like it ain't nothing. I mean, do I really need to elaborate? So the Archon is my favorite unit in StarCraft. I, I played Protoss in Brood War. Um, my favorite StarCraft 2 unit is probably the Hellion. 
I think the Hellion is one of the most interesting units in the game. It's not very good. <laughs> it doesn't really have much of a place in the meta anymore, but I still, you know, I still like it. I still think fondly of it. Ah. Bike unit? You know, I think of it more as like a dune buggy with a flamethrower strapped to it. I think that's why I like it. I think it gives it gives me like Mad Max vibes. But there's also something so awesome about visualizing. Like, could you imagine visual like like put yourself in the first person perspective of a Hellion driver? There's like 50 Zerglings chasing you, and you are going to die a very painful death if they get to you. But then you like pull into this little choke point and you just let that blue flame rip and all of a sudden you just cook you just cook the whole wave and you clear the path and then you just drive home into the sunset with the top down. Oh my god. Oh. You really never fantasized about that? I played too much StarCraft, I guess, but I'm a I'm a role player, man. I'm a role player. When I'm when I'm cooking when I'm cooking lings with hellions, I I am imagining myself there. I am full on dis. You guys ever see that episode of It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia? I am Dennis. I am I am completely disassociated into the vibes when that happens. It is a good time. It is a good time. You know, you're watching the stream and you're thinking to yourself, Oh, nice Hellion Micro! And I'm thinking to myself, How warm must the flame of these burning drone corpses be? Like, do you think, do you think I could put a, a hot dog on a, on a stick and cook it over a drone corpse? Or do you think it disintegrates too fast? Oh, first world problems. Am I right or am I right? Turns out blue flame was actually the worst way to cook lings because there's just nothing left. There you go. We learned a lesson. And that's why I stopped researching blue flame. The truth is out there. Oh, there it is. There it is. He's really doing the raven harass? He's gonna raven harass me? No, he is. That's his plan. He's crazy. He's just trying to mess with my gas, my gas, I guess. Here we go. I haven't watched SC2 in a while. Saw the Hellion and thought, did they bring back the Vulture this patch? Had to see it shoot flame to remember it existed. <laughs> yeah, hell, I mean, you know, I wish, I wish the Hellion had a bigger role in the game. I do. I think that Zerg players will probably never let it get buffed, though, because they would just be like, oh, yeah, well, you'll never be able to make Zerglings again. Even though, you know, every game people go Hellions. I mean, there's Hellions just can't put any pressure unless they go for a lot of Lings. So it's like all you can do is suicide them and then blow, you know, burn hundreds of minerals. That's why I don't use them. I don't, I don't, th I don't think they're good. I do love them. They're one of my favorite units. I just, I don't think they, I don't really feel like they have a role in the current game. Like, there's no, there's no room, there's no room for Hellions in this meta game. There is no love in this club.
Oh, really? Okay. So here's the cool thing. They can't chain them anymore, right? So we, we do have an opportunity to save them. Yep, okay, we got him, we got him. Yeah, you can't you can't cast interference matrix on a unit that already has it on it, so it makes our lives a lot easier. Your SCVs are under attack. Think we're dead though, GG. Well played. We'll, we'll, we'll avoid him. We'll avoid him again. That was his first game in three days. So I'm going to wait for him to queue up. If he's going to play more than one game today, that's fine. We're going to wait for him to search. I'm not doing that again. And then we'll be good. I wish we had a unit like the Vulture in this game, though. That would be awesome. I miss the Vulture so bad. If he uh, doesn't queue up for a game, if I think he's sniping, or if you guys think he's sniping, I can queue unranked, but otherwise, he is going to queue for a game. I don't think he's waiting to snipe us. If you guys think that that's the case, you can let me know and I'll search unranked and we'll be safe. But otherwise, I'm just going to wait for him. This way, nobody has to accuse anyone of anything. I will only, I will only avoid him if you guys ask me to. It's been a pretty good day, so I'm not, I'm not playing no games like this. If he doesn't find a match for one more minute, let's say at 1648. We'll just search unranked. Yeah, exactly, exactly. All right, he is still uh, looking for a game. I'm going to assume that he's trying to snipe us, so I'm just going to queue unranked, and if we get matched against him, I'm going to leave until we get put versus somebody else. That's my plan. Thank you, guys. I appreciate everybody hanging out today. You guys have been awesome. Here we got Lou. Lou wants to say hi. We got a game. And it's not against that same dude. What's going on? Hey, huh? Yeah, he was sus. He was sus. No re. No re on sus games. He's a good boy. What's going on? Katie and I are going grocery shopping, so I think this will be the last game of the day. I want to take him out. I want to take him outside before Kate gets back from work. So, so she doesn't have to wait for me to get ready. We just gotta go pick up a few things from Safeway. I think I think we're making I think we're making tortellini for dinner tonight. I think it's tortellini night.
bananas. I do like my fruits. I do like my fruits. I'm a big, big on. I like apples. I like apples. I like grapes. Bananas are pretty good too. I'm more of like a basic fruit guy, I guess. <laughs> Consider me successfully marketed to by Big Fruit. No ads, yeah. You're good, you're good. Subs don't get ads. I love you. I appreciate you. Also, if you guys ever want to watch the VODs, I know I have them on sub only on Twitch. That is mostly to force you to go to my YouTube because all the VODs are there as well for free. So make sure you check that out. YouTube slash Nathanius. I've been streaming there all day today. The VODs are in 4K resolution, so it looks a lot nicer than the live stream. Then the Twitch stream, anyway, it looks a lot nicer. So definitely worth checking that out. I would highly recommend it. Going for the armory doesn't ever really seem like it's the play. I always just wish I had the BC faster. Always wish I just had the battle cruiser faster. So we should just do that. I want to do two cyclone drop and then just go into BCs. That's what I want to do. Ready for dust off. Systems go. Cyclone ready for action. Ready. Get from above. What's going on? Big job. Oh. SCV ready. Add on done. Swap away. How's the new patch feeling? It's good. I like it. I wish I wish they didn't uh, take back the Cyclone buff, but that's really it. It's my only complaint. It's not even really a complaint. I thought it would be cool if the Cyclone was stronger with upgrades, and then they didn't end up doing that. So that was the only, that was the only, I was really excited about that, but at the same time, I was also really excited about everything in the whole patch. So for me, it kind of quickly became this, like, yeah. General overall it's very good. I'm very happy with it. I do not I do not have I do not have any complaints. The maps are better, the game is better. It's easier to target with Widow Mines now. It's easier to see what Widow Mines are targeting. These are all really good changes. They're all good changes. Boom, boom, boom. Any interactions yet with new rocks? So those are... So the only thing you need to understand about how maps in this game work is that when you hear about the maps, when you hear about new maps, that doesn't mean that they're this season. It means next season. So I think all the new map stuff that they added was so that map makers could actually put it in the game and make maps with it. Does that make sense? What I'm trying to say is a lot of that stuff didn't exist until this patch. So new versions of those maps will have to be made and I'm pretty sure it'll be next season. Every time Team Liquid map contest happens, everybody's like, oh wow, congrats to the winners. They're gonna be amazing to see. But this literally happens every season. Like every single season, people are just like, oh, I, I just saw the Team Liquid map winners. These guys aren't in the pool. That's not how it works. There's usually about a whole season of lag because like, yeah. 
they can't put them in immediately, so they delayed it the first time, and then then they started rotating it. So they've been like one whole TLMC season behind for years now. That's just how it goes, because they run the contest during the season, but it takes about a whole season to prepare the maps for the latter versions, and not just the the versions that were submitted in the contest. That's that, Blizzard usually changes the maps during that time period as well. They have a they have a habit of doing that. That's another reason why it takes it takes a long time. It takes a long time. All right, we got Sifa again. What do I do here? He's gonna go. He's gonna do the swarm host rush. He's gonna do that. We know he's gonna swarm host rush us. So the only the only thing I can do to prevent that from being something that he can do is is to just. Yeah, it's painful. It's painful. My only option is to cheese him. Otherwise, I'm gonna get I'm gonna play versus swarm hosts. He doesn't he doesn't give me a choice. I'm gonna cheese him again. And I don't I don't care if he blind counters me and kills me. I'm not. I'm not playing a macro game where I get sieged by Swarm Host five minutes in. It's not happening. I would rather lose any other way. Hell no. I'm gonna get an armory this game too. We're gonna escalate it. No, this this guy specifically plays a style that I can't get battle cruisers, so that's the that's the whole that's like the whole entire reason why I don't like playing him. That's why I have special builds crafted just for him. I don't think he's a bad person, and it's not intended personally at all. It's just as a guy that likes to build BCs, he's a pain in the ass. That's all. That's all. Ideally, I would just do my normal macro opener. We would play a great back and forth match, but that's that is not what he wants. That is not that is not the kind of game this dude gives me. It's absolutely, absolutely not the kind of game this guy gives me. Here we go. I hate doing this. I hate I hate that I hate that this is even something I have to consider doing. But here we are. You know, I flipped my camera upside down so that uh, the mount for it wouldn't be under it because that was coming into contact with the monitor. And I told the camera to flip it, flip itself vertically. But it's possible that it needs to be flipped horizontally, and you might be the first person that noticed. But I, I always, I always push my hair to the left. I have a sick cowlick. I've got a big cowlick. It is, it is not a configurable feature that I'm aware of. I couldn't push my hair the other way if I wanted to. Now this is a really long map. Like this map is huge. Goes to show you I tune in every day. My man is aware. 
he is aware. I appreciate that, though. Upgrade complete. It's part of what makes part of what makes you such a fantastic addition. He pays attention. He notices things. He went to Jared. I don't know if you went to Jared. I'm sorry. I don't mean to appropriate your wedding, but you got me excited. Plus one attack done yet? There it is. Oh, it's beautiful. Yeah, the hardest part. I just, I just needed the armory. Just needed the armory. Having, having plus one attack completely changes everything about this now. He got his roach speed a little bit faster, though. Now let's dance. Oh, this burrow must be done. If he's doing that, his burrow's got to be done. So. We take that. We take that as our, as our nod to to step a, step away. My plus two attack is almost done. So. I just need the Raven, so he's going to probably be rushing to Infestors right now, would be my guess. But he already has Roach Speed. We saw that he had Roach Speed. We know he's got, we know he has that. Just get ready to go. Let's go, baby. Let's get it. My SCVs aren't repairing, though. Thank you. 
GG. Yeah, like I said, this is the this this guy we we never really want to play him because again, he just like I don't even I don't want to go into it because I think people will take it as me like being really mean to him. But I don't want to play versus Swarm Host Rush, so I don't really have any other choice. So, I'm going to wait for him to queue up and maybe we'll play if he if he queues up, if he queues up within the next 2 minutes. I will search and play one more game tonight. But if he doesn't queue up for a game within the next two minutes, I'm going to log off. Yeah, he only builds Swarm Host. That's all he does. That's the only thing he does. If I go one Rax expand or Reaper expand against him, he goes he goes, he goes, goes one and a half base night as Swarm Host. It is, it is like literally the least interesting strategy of all time. I'm not saying anything bad personally about him. There's just... It's not interactive, you know? It's not an interactive game. So, they just spawn, he just rushes to spawn free units outside your base every game. So he's not, he's not worth the time. I do think he might be trying to queue into us. So, again, I will give you two minutes. It's uh, 5.06. If he's not in a game by 5.08, I'm gonna wrap it up though. He's already got he's already gotten us twice, so I'm just I just don't want to play against him anymore. That is sad. It, it it is. It is. Yeah, I think he's I think he's just waiting for he's still he's still not in a game. That's gonna be it for tonight's show, guys. Yeah, he's just dude is literally just waiting for me. So I'm not I'm not interested in playing anymore. We did go for about six and a half hours today, so if I seem a little bit grumpy, it's it's because we're at, we're we're six and a half hours in. I had a lot of fun today. I got a little worked up because I was having a good time and this this guy just derailed it, but that's okay. I'm an adult. I can handle it. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Thanks for tuning in. I appreciate you. God bless.